heard Kevin say that they had money for the house, but they couldn't find anything. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. I don't know how to feel about this. Why? It ha well, I mean, it had to happen, but it's still sad for the kids, you know? Well, it's the best thing for the kids, though. Oh, I know that. But you still gotta have, you know, you still gotta feel for them for the whole situation. I, I do, but the thing is, she's been bringing, she's been that. bringing, she's been bringing this on for how long now? If she Lying hadn't been on live and stay on live, where they know where she's at, none of this would have never happened. She exactly. Never I mean, been she, evicted. She's done all. She's done it all to herself. Warrior mom says, "Please tell Billy, don't take them." No. She should be ashamed of herself for even thinking about asking her grandma and them after the way she's talked about them. Hey, girls. I, hey, girls. Well, she blocked her last night, remember? Exactly. Did y'all see it? She got no shame at all. Did no. See it? Yes. Did you see him in the room with her? Yes. Well, I I caught a few little uh, glimpses that Amber sent me, um, but that's all I saw. I've not seen she, everything. She has two videos on her her account. She's As what? She's got two videos on her account where yeah. she, she's asking for 500 and some dollars to get her out. About Wait a minute. Logan Delp says, Daddy did something. Come on. He's just... Nah, it's, I would ignore it. Just ignore the haters. Yeah, it's over some ticket of the hers. They found some ticket that they got her on. And probably when they... Probably uh, back when they lived in Mississippi years ago. And it's going to cost them 500 and some dollars to get her out. And That's a cash was, bond. That's a cash bond. And she was begging Here. her people to. Um, That's what I was going to say. Here's my problem. Is she not one tear about those kids? Not, oh, my God, please don't take my kids. Not, no, I, heard I would be screaming. All you hear is send money to cash out Venmo and this to get me out of jail. Mm -hmm. But yet, I heard, but I heard, yet. Kevin said he is, who is Carrie? Kevin Carrie's was very my, upset. Ashley was not. No, Kevin was, yeah. Because then, he, did you hear him say that he was going to put a gun to his head? Yep. He don't have a gun. And the woman said, is, is a that pew pew. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, pew pew. Said, it, really, is that what you want to do? And then so she, that's, all that does is give them another reason to keep the kids. Uh huh. And that's when she cut it off then. But he was traumatized. Who? I'm not going to say he wasn't. Yeah, he was like, please don't do this to my baby. Please. Do y'all have a family member named Carrie? Carrie is the caseworker, yeah. they said. Who in the hell? Somebody oh, just what? went. Michelle said Carrie is the case for her. I don't know if anybody... Carrie. Knows. They put on here Carrie. C-A-R-R-I-E. They said... Michelle said it's a caseworker. That must be a new one because... Uh, oh, I did... I, probably Carly. I was going to tell you earlier. Go ahead. You finish and then I'll tell you something. Her caseworker has been Carly. She has been harping. I ain't talking to nobody but Carly. I'm not talking to nobody but Carly. That's Carly. And if she's talking so about Carly, that's a Tennessee caseworker's then. Who's Buddy? She said they had a family or friend named Buddy. Who's Buddy? Nobody. Uh, she, who knows? When the caseworker asked about family, she said with their grandma and somebody else and, and yes. Buddy. Her Hank brothers, you know. Anyhow. No, I actually she, said Carrie, but it could have been... K E R R Y. Kevin's dad? No. Kevin. No, Ke he Kevin's. He's a convicted felon too. Well, he don't. He, don't, he doesn't have any family here. They're the not CPS, allowed. The CPS worker <sighs> ought to know she's she's lying to her again because she lied about when they were getting evicted. She said two of them was going here and two of them uh -huh. was going there. Right. Yeah. Well, the, th the thing is, 
Kevin's family can't touch these kids. Sorry. Kay's family right. can't they're touch these married. kids they're because they're not married and they're not biological. His kids. Nay, nay, probably is, but the rest of them, no. And these these officers in Mississippi are probably not going to cross state lines with these children to put them in, a, in a family home. Uh, -uh. uh that was Tennessee I, DCS. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah, okay, she said I'm not. I thought she she she, she was talking to um. She was, they, they were Mississippi, I believe, because she said this is my daughter. no. She said, uh, Nancy said Carly was there. So that's Tennessee DCS. Well, they might have been together. And, that, and she also yeah, said the judge together. signed the order for them to come and get them. Yep. Yep. See, the thing is, if the judge signs an order, they can cross the state line. Yeah. But they would have to go get the Mississippi police. They though. did have to go get the Mississippi police, though. And that's where they found out she had an outstanding warrant. You need to tell your husband to call his mother and put a bug in her ear. You want to put a bug in your mama's ear? Are you listening to this? If mama, mama will catch on. If she wants to go on Ashley's the station, already called her. She will get her. Oh, really? Ashley's already yeah. called her. She called her. That's why she had to end mama the live. She was calling Billy. So now the question the is, did, what did she say? Her daddy definitely the, the don't have the money for The officer said he would give her five minutes to call family. But, I mean, all her family lives 30 minutes away. Who's her? Huh? Mm hmm All her family. She was calling all her. her. Mississippi. They're in Mississippi. All of her family's up here. Yeah. She has nothing down there but my family. Right. And they, and I, I'll tell you real quick, all I got to do is make a few phone calls. They won't take them. Where does Kevin's people live? Waynesboro, Tennessee. Oh, hey, well, set six, seven, eight, nine. You're, you're, you're correct. You're correct. She said, let me call Billy. Who's from Waynesboro? Kevin's people. His mom passed away, so the only people that's left up there is his daughter, which is grown. and got kids of her own. Yeah. But they're not allowed to touch those kids. No, they're not. They're not blood related. Even if they were question. married. Uh -uh. Why did the officers give her time to sit there and make a few uh, TikTok videos to post to her page? I, I don't understand that. Honey, I, that is. Yeah, maybe, maybe they didn't know she was doing that, but. Um, oh, you know how. Well, I. Is. <laughs> I but don't I understand. Did, um, I did have. I do have a question for you, Cindy. Um, earlier this morning on Reddit, a few people um, had talked about being in your lives and getting um, getting blocked for you know just asking questions or whatever. So, I, do you have mods running your page? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. So I was just going to suggest that's between you and your mods. But I was going to suggest if it's not anything too serious, like don't over block because if you over block it really can affect your account and just um you know a lot of them they they know about the situation so if they're on reddit i mean if, they're being blocked i wouldn't think they're supporting a my the people that i have blocked that are people that have been disrespectful to cindy and her husband okay. exactly yes. that's that, exactly the only yes, reason if, why if i any, block if anybody brings that situation up, I 100% agree that that's an automatic block. I, you know, and see, I agree. these two on the bottom, they are my mods. And so is yeah. Michelle from Country Home Sense. Yes, I know Michelle. And your daughter. And then one night we kind of had, I think we had some kids up in here. And, and Robbie's one, Robbie was one of them too. Somebody said Mama 2 blocked her main page for just asking a question. <laughs> So that's what they were basically saying on Reddit is is they were being blocked for things that they shouldn't have been blocked for. But we know, we, you know, that's this is your page and y'all have to run it how you want. But I told them that I would mention it. Well, the thing is, like I told them last night, if y'all don't want to listen to what I have to say, there's the door. And if you have a question, she she suggests that you come to the box and ask your question up here instead of trying to make it because, clear in the chat. I mean. I mean, 
Cindy, think about how fast these things yeah. are going. Right. I can't see all of them. I mean, last my night I was going, right. I was doing this my last night. <laughs> my suggestions for y'all that are in the comment section right now saying you were blocked for no reason. My only suggestion is message a mod and let, you know, they may remember what you said, they may not. And just, uh, that's all you can do. I mean, you know, they, they're the ones that need to make the decision to protect Cindy's page. Okay. Um. That's what they're here for. Party in the front got blocked by a mama of two mm -hmm. asking a clarification on something. How so, do they know who blocked them? You can't tell that, can you? I don't know if you can or not. No, I don't think you can. I mean, I got blocked by Ashley, but I didn't know who. I knew she'd done it or one of her mods, but. Yeah, but it doesn't tell you who. I don't think it. Blocked by a host. <laughs> I mean, I, there was a couple on here that I did block. Oh, because... someone says it tells you who at the top of the screen. Didn't know that. Oh, I didn't either. Other than host is what I've ever seen. Uh, My suggestion is if y'all have a question or a comment, Cindy has invited anybody to come into the box and, and, yeah. and be respectful to you. So, yeah. Um, if you're I mean, respectful to us, we're respectful to you. If it's exactly. if it's important, ask to go in the box. Just um, hit hit the multi guest down there at the bottom, and one of us will see you. We'll bring you right up. And just be respectful. Let's see. Kitty wants to know: Do y'all have any information on what has happened? Sorry, just not getting in. All we know is that um. Go ahead. Go to Red. <laughs> uh, Thumper, my, Thumper go to says, Red. go to Reddit if you're clueless. Or I YouTube. Okay. And it always happens on live. Like, okay. Always. okay. Kevin legally only is Nene's dad, more than likely. Trustin is not his. So, legally, with them not being married, he can't keep none of them. All right, somebody tagged me in a question, but I can't find you. Can you re-tag me, please? I mean, I've been in town today, and I've been balling of oil that we got from uh, Pew Pew Oil that my husband had bought mm -hmm. that we're trying to sell. Um, so, I... Todd, I don't think he ever got his uh, license back because it, he would have to go all the way to North Dakota. Somebody wants to know the name of the Reddit page. Is there anybody that can pin that, um, put that in the comments? Somebody just did. Somebody just did. Maybe a mod can pin it. You can't pin with people in the boxes. The cop oh, okay. stated Kevin's homeless. Okay. Crazy. I heard him say that. So, they're, is the hotel kicking the, him out now? No, not that I saw. Um, Tracy, I don't think it was a stunt. I seen um, the, I seen the cops. Yeah, I, I, I saw the cops. cops. And I heard a woman talking to her saying, you know, that she was I, just doing her job. So, I, I believe it's true. And <laughs> she made sure she got that out there. You know, please send money. Please help me. With no tears or sad. If, if he's having a mental make breakdown and the kids are not going to be there and A is not going to be there, they could possibly make him go get help for that. Mm -hmm. Because when everybody leaves, that's when it's really going to hit him. Yeah, because didn't he say something about a, a pew pew while they were there? Uh huh. Yep. Um, another question Why would you hide the keys behind the desk? Right. What keys? The pick the pickup keys? Yeah. She's going out the door to him. She, she had them hidden from Kevin. <laughs> oh. That's a little bit bad. You gotta uh hide your hide the keys from him. And if it was a traffic ticket, 
Oh, they sweet not? Maggie. Would she, <laughs> she's got a break. How does she have her driver's license in Tennessee? Is that possible? Uh, no. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think, I, from what I've heard, she don't have any. Mm. I'm, yeah, assuming, so. I'm assuming somebody called from the, from the hotel today because Trustin was being extremely loud. Yeah. When is he not? It was worse than it's been the past week or two. Now, is Trustin the baby or the next one up? Trustin's the baby, baby. Uh, okay. And then what's the next one up? Nay, nay. Nay, nay. I get the. Neelan. 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 He's the one I did, feel really bad about because he just. He, I just feel like he's neglected all did around. It, did anybody no, that's, notice? That's that Andy this and Neelan. Andy and Neelan are the worst. This live is the first time I've ever seen Kevin hug and hold Neelan. Exactly. Today is the first time I've ever seen that. He didn't have Tristan in his arm. He had Neelan in his arm. He grabbed Neelan, and wow. Tristan yeah. was right there. See, see, the thing is, Neelan is supposed to be his. And he, and you could tell that today. He grabbed Neelan, not Tristan, and he mm. held on to him. All right, baby, Jay's me, me, me. Who is this? I'm trying to turn my camera on. Can you hear me? We can hear. Yeah, you. we can hear you. Hi. 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 I'm my name's Michelle. Nice to meet you, Michelle. So, Hello. Hello. I've been following you guys for a long time. Well, some of you anyway. <laughs> so, did you guys see on um, the one that's like four minutes long, the longer one, where DCF said, we're taking the kids because you're homeless. And going to I jail. Did, I did not did see that? that. Yeah. No. So if you go back I got a little bitty, I got like a little bitty. 45 second spurt. They said, we are removing the kids because you are homeless and you are going to jail. That was the yep. exact words. Yep, exactly. So they didn't take the kids just because of our traffic ticket. Like, so like no. everybody thinks we took them because they're homeless. I think it was finally a reason for them to take them, you know, thank God, but I'm sorry. All right. But who, who forgets about a traffic ticket? That's yeah. Right. Okay. I will say this. Ashley. I'm, <laughs> yeah okay yeah. i will say this that is where i grew up is down in iuka okay to get a 500 hundred dollar ticket <laughs> we're talking no license uh expired tag 25 no miles seat. an hour over the speed limit will cause that. exactly exactly that's, that's in mississippi yeah so now, twenty-five will they, miles an hour. Yes. So they'll take her. They're gonna book her all the way in Mississippi. Then she's in Mississippi. <laughs> Where'd you find them? I, I don't know how far that is. Is that far from you? From no. Oh, it's about from where she lives. Oh, oh it's oh, about okay. it's. See, I was raised down there. Uh, yeah. It's about thirty minutes. Oh. Okay. Except except for when my mother, I got a phone call about my mother, and I made it in seventeen. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. So hopefully, I mean, they're not just going to give her the kids back tomorrow when she gets out, you know. No, once DCS has them, that's it. Yeah, so. She will, she will have to go through panting classes, yep. panting classes, drug rehab more likely, um, a psych evaluation with Quinco. I mean, she'll yep. have to have a home, a bed Beforehand. for each child. Yep. She'll have to have, let's see, Natty, her and Kevin, two boys in one room, two boys in another room. She'll have to have a four-bedroom. Yeah. And their biological uh, fathers will be contacted. Yeah. Unless there's some type of order, you know. I think there's rights. already, I think, th I, I think he's already signed his rights away. Okay. It, it, did he, is that anymore. true? Do what? They're going to question her and ask her who T's father is. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, yeah. and, but the this. thing is, but the thing is, so here in Illinois, I'm from Chicago. Um, here in Illinois. Oh, bless your heart. If you sign that um, parenting paper, if you sign the acknowledgement of, of paternity, you're they're legally the father. Not down here. But they're no. not married. You have to be. But they're not married. It's about to happen. Right. So yeah. now, up to here, marriage means nothing when it comes to paternity. Um, the thing is, they have to be married, even if the baby is not his. As long as they're married, she can put him down. 
Um, but Kimberly, Kevin, Kevin is not on his birth certificate. You're you're incorrect. Ash, Ashley has showed his birth certificate, what? and his last name is not Kevin's last name. It's oh, Castillo. Oh, yes. and he's not on you're, the birth certificate. He's not and on the birth certificate. Oh, well, no, made, then then yeah. Then you're he right. He did not sign it. He's on the birth certificate. He is no, not the on the birth certificate. That is not good. He, good. The baby's dad does not want him. Right. He told her to yeah. get rid of it. Yeah. But that was so, before. I mean, maybe now. It's, no. No. Do we? No. We know for sure. He 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 still don't want it. Trust me. Yeah. Why didn't you take the kids? I have a three bedroom house. Right. I mean, that's one bath. Come on. You can't expect every family member to take five kids. Come on. Why didn't you take them? That's, you know what I mean? That's a ridiculous question. I mean, uh, she was arrested in Iuka, Mississippi. So I just want to say one more thing and then I'm going to hang up. Um, so I'm been I'm a recovering heroin addict for five years. I've been clean. Congratulations. And, Congrats. And I got my kids taken away actually. Um, and yeah, I had to go through all that stuff. And it's so hard, but it's so if you want your kids, then that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna work for it. You're gonna you're work right. for it. You're damn right. And you know what? If you work with DCS or whatever, they help you. Like they helped me get housing and beds and everything because I was well, doing what I was supposed to do, you know. But D but the thing is, DCS is not going to do that up here. That's no. the parent's responsibility. Yeah. But if you're doing what you're supposed to do, they'll help you get resources to, do, to get it. You know? They will help you get resources, maybe, but they're not going to go out and find you a oh, four no. bedroom, two bed house. Oh, no, 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 no. That's you what she that. thinks. See, oh, that's no. what she thinks. No, they help you though, but no, they're not going to do the work for you. If that little girl was no, I I'm saying it like that. I mean, I'm not. I hope, so, yeah. Okay. I just hope they're not scared to death from him, you know. Okay, Jin Jin. I'm not on here. Thank whoever done it. Thank you. But I'm not on here for the clout. We have been working on here trying to save them kids for a while. Yep. Do you ever see her on here battling? If she was out for money, she'd be battling and battling all day long, every day. So, so remember last night was my first battle. Yes. And I, and I didn't even know what. One, exactly. And I didn't even know what to do. No, yeah, you're definitely not on it for clout. We know that. I mean, no. And the only reason why you did that is because it was a friend of yours. Yeah, James. And so it, that's not the baby daddy. All her, all her haters don't have her to watch because she's in J A I L. So yeah. they're going. They're going to come over here, and you know it is what Bash. it is. Bash. Yeah. I mean, if they if they want to come in here and listen, that's fine. But don't get on here and start bashing Any, me. No. No. That no. can support. Somebody walking out of a bedroom with a boner after changing a child's diaper. If you support that, we don't want you in here anyways. Bye. No. no. Oh, it's right. a grown man. Yes. Well, All right, ladies. I'm going to get up, but I just wanted to say hi and so tell you about that. Exactly. Um, I, I don't know if you'll be able to find it, but it's on YouTube. Thank you. Okay. See you later. You be safe up there in Chicago. I've oh, been yeah. driving through there. Too many times. Yeah. All I can tell y'all is y'all need to type in Ashley's name in the all search right, bar and go down the rabbit hole. Bye. You will see it all. You will see all the videos that Ashley did. Ashley posted. This is the drugs I did. <laughs> Ashley, Why would you video? Exactly, Mimi. Mimi Fox. Why would you video tape your kids and being taken and in traumatic to them? Well, maybe Why would you do that? Haven't, they obviously haven't looked her up and done the footwork, and we can't do the footwork for you. Well, that was that was a question that that somebody asked. Why oh, would yeah, you videotape it? And right, it's I, it's because 
She's uh, looking for money. It's all about the sympathy. Money. It's all about the sympathy and looking, looking for, money. for money and all this. No, thing. Kevin's not the biological. Yeah, I, like I know it's way, I know it's it? traumatic no matter what, but that's the only way to save these kids from what she's right. doing to them. Uh, suppose, yes, I'm supposedly, uh, she called Billy. That's all I know. So, I don't know if she knows or not. So, I mean. Neelan, I'm, is he on Neelan's birth certificate? Yes, I believe he is. But I can't, I'm, I can't say for sure. Who's madder than Hale? She had the camera straight at those kids. Uh, of course she did. She's got to play the sympathy. Oh, woe is me. Look at my poor kids. And her putting... And I hope somebody had sent that video of her getting uh, Natty to dance in that dress in front of that man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, underage child dancing for an adult. And then, that happened last night. Probably when I fell asleep. And then. Yeah, and he was creepy. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. That man was talking about golden showers and Ashley's laughing. He was talking about running trains. Oh, and she's laughing, and Natty's sitting right there listening to the entire thing. But did you hear what she said? Which part? Because I, I watched the whole thing. Um. Well, I am so embarrassed when she dances. Don't get mad at me. Wow, I didn't hear that. Yeah, she um leans over. Hold on. Cool. Okay. Can y'all mute for just a minute? Just for a minute. I'm in PJs. I'm off work. Just for a minute. I'm going to say this. I'm seeing a bunch of newbies in here. I've got to get it out. We can't take the kids. Me or Cindy. We can't take the kids. Okay? I can't. I'm not set up for five kids. That's rough taking five kids that need therapy, that need mental help, that need physical help. They need doctor's visits constantly. They need attention and love. And I can't give it to them. I have two kids of my own. I have a full-time job now. 80 plus hours a week. They're disabled. Okay? They're disabled. They can't take them either. Grandma Billy can't take them. Grandma Billy's 80-something years old. Have you called okay. her? Okay, hold on. Grandma Billy can't take them. Okay, there's nobody else in the family, really, that can take the kids. No offense, the kids are better off in state custody going to either a girls' or boys' home where they will have structure that they have not had most of their lives, or... They're better off being in foster families that will give them the love and attention that they deserve and get them the help that they need. Okay? If you don't like that answer, I'm sorry. Yes, we're family. Yes, we've tried helping the kids. Yes, we've been there. The only reason we haven't tried doing this before is because we've been blocked from her life. You say one thing wrong, she blocks you from her life. That's knocking on doors, no answer, threats of, oh, I'm sorry, you need to get off my property. You're not supposed to be here. I'm going to call the cops. Okay, or no return phone calls, no return texts. Okay, the thing is, it's taken care of. I've said my piece. I'm out. Bye, bye, Amber. <laughs> She's blunt to the point, ain't and she? And she, that was to the point. I love it. I don't want to go against you, but I would have to say, you know. I'm in South Carolina, and I'm not family, and I went, and I, in a heartbeat, would take them. But I am not Ashley's family. I I, there's family. nothing I can do for her. It's not because of and I'm in Virginia. I don't hate her. I don't even hate Ashley. I think Ashley needs help. And until she yeah. gets help for herself, she is no good to those children. Nope. She lives in her own little world. And, uh, her, yep. her bubble, her bubble. She needs help. She's not any good to them until she fixes herself. Oh, um, I I didn't know if she was gonna go live today or not. Um, but remember last night she called me a pig. 
Yes. And she said, I don't get on here and do my makeup and my hair and my nails. With a filter on. Okay. With, yeah. Well, I got up this morning. I put makeup on just for her ass. Yeah. <laughs> and now she can't see it. Where is she? I am 50. I am 53 years old. She's she 31. She don't, look, uh -huh. she don't look like that without that filter. Uh -uh. She is 31 years old, and I, I have no filter on. She looks 50 without it. Because well, of the rugs. I'm and almost, I said it, the rugs. I'm almost 60 years old, and, and she looks older than I do. And, there's, there's ways and I'm disabled. To cops to come and I don't wear makeup. Their attitude of and I got those, that, those that are for Ashley, you need to understand how an addict's mind works. In her mind, she has to make her life look good and get that money. That's how an addict works. Addicts lie. Addicts will do what they have to do to get their next fix. Mm -hmm. They will. Period. They will. They will lie. They'll con. They'll steal. They'll. They'll, get they'll manipulate. They'll manipulate. They will exile family to get what they want because all addicts, it's all about them and what they think is, what they really think is right when it's not. And when y'all donate her money to her when they're already bringing in six grand a month, you're donating to that habit. You're not helping her. So You're enabling her. That's why they go exactly. from one place to Wake up, to people. Can you not and see all the signs? Again, again, again. So well, I mean, I hope these drug. people are starting to see because, I mean, it it, the only person, oh, like oh, like y'all said a while ago, there was only one person concerned, truly concerned, about the kids being taken, and well, that was Kevin. Yes. And he's not any blood related to him. He was devastated. The only her. way to get Ashley help is to get the kids help, get them away from her, get her help. That way the kids can be in a healthy environment. Exactly. exactly. She, said, she made a statement that Billy was the only thing holding her back to stay here. Well, yeah, now she don't have. Now she don't have anything holding her back. Yeah, because she wants that property. She wants. Like she wants on that property. Yeah. Since she don't have Billy holding her back, since she don't have the kids holding her back, her and Kevin can leave. She is not good to those kids. No. On camera. We've all no, but, seen it. but as soon as they get in front of the camera, oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Do you, you I will say this. I watched the live. Those kids didn't look devastated or scared or crying. That's not normal. Yeah, that's right. They did not. Not that's even trusting. Trusting what No, trusting was sitting there watching TV. I will tell you this. Andy was packing his stuff with a smile on his face and put his headphones around his neck. I know, didn't he? But what does that tell you? He's probably thinking, I'm, well, finally free. <laughs> oh, Lord. They were not scared at all. Uh -uh. And they heard the officer saying they were taking them, and none of them were scared. Nope. Natty, Natty looked a little scared, but the rest of them. But look at look at what Kevin had screamed at her though. Uh huh. That's the thing. She's probably scared of what he help, said. I think with some help and some help for addiction, Kevin could probably be a good person, but he needs help as well. He seems loving is all I'm going to say. I do think he generally loves the children. Yeah, but there's one thing. There, There's a such thing as being a loving parent. Right. There's some questionable stuff. I will give you that, but I'm just saying he has feelings is what I'm saying. He, he oh, I know. I, I mean, I'm not I saying he not. don't. I'm not saying he don't. But it's the point no, that there's. I'm not saying some... you don't. I'm talking to the chat. When they want to make comments or whatever, I'm talking to the chat. Because they think we're just all a bunch of haters. 
that want these poor kids torn up, torn apart, and that's just not true. No, I don't hate anybody. I don't know. Them. No, I, I want them to have a better life, a chance at a childhood. That's what I want, Absolutely. and not be, not be, grow up with PTSD and trauma. And if that, what and if that means, if that means actually getting help and getting a place and being a good mom, we are all for it. Yes, Billy has a two-bedroom two house. Billy has a two-bedroom house. And she's 87 years that. old. Where are they going? They're not going to prove it because Ashley's going to turn around, go grab them again, and go somewhere else. And the thing is, Grandma Agnes, she's only got a two-bedroom. And it's infested with roaches and fleas. And the last time I was in there, which was quite a few years ago, I, I did not want to sit down. I, did, I barely even wanted to walk through the place. He told those officers that DCS approved the hotel. That's a lie. That's I'm a lie. I'm here to tell you, during her eviction, that woman told her no hotels. Not for all five of them. No. Exactly. She, her and Kevin and one kid could go. But not all five kids. No. Uh, see, that's what I want to see. I want you. That's what I mean when she believes her own lies. She thinks if it comes out of her mouth, it's true. I really think that her head is. Not there at you, but I think she, you know. And she, trauma, and she called us narcissists. And she called us narcissists. If I can recognize that. I know she's mad at all of us. I mean, whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't care if she's mad at me or not. I, I don't either. Let me answer these people. Let me answer these people in the chat here. It's on Reddit under Ashley Castile or on YouTube under Lemon Pepper Stepper or Teresa Freeman 74, I think. On TikTok, Teresa Freeman. Yeah. Where was Junior? Didn't see him. Uh, um, okay. uh -huh, yeah, yeah. She hugged him too, right after she yeah, hugged her baby. Then she walked over and hugged Junior. Okay, Birdie, who are you? How? What are you doing that situation? I called you Auntie last night. Um, Dude. but I just wanted to come in here and say that you know I did not follow Ashley. <laughs> with no. baby. I didn't you asked. Uh, no. Years about <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> And everybody, uh, even some of her mods, were concerned about her <laughs> children. I can't hear her. You're, you're, we can barely hear you. Hold on, let me I, I, the Cindy, I, Cindy, your husband is kind of echoing, is why it's hard to hear. And honey, I don't I have no idea how to mute. No, you don't have to mute. I was just letting you know it was echoing. Okay. Can you right now. Okay. Better. Go ahead. <laughs> just trying to say that I did not follow Ashley at all, but after being in the live last night, a lot of the videos popped up about everybody being concerned about her children, and now all I see is people in here trying to blame the family for not stepping in and taking her children, and the family is not to blame. It's Ashley who is to blame. So y'all need to stop yeah. blaming her family Absolutely. for her actions. I am her Absolutely. family. Yes, but it's people in the chat that are blaming y'all. I know it, and we have tried for years. They lived with us. They destroyed our house. We they didn't want to pay for anything. We wound up having to sue them. And then they once won. they left, and we won. And the thing is, since then she has gone. She won't tell nobody where she lives. She won't give nobody phone numbers. Nothing. Yeah, and I mean, it's just seeing some of these comments on how people are talking about you guys. It's like, stop yeah, we, blaming yeah. the family. Take Ashley and hold her accountable. This is all her fault. Those kids should have been taken long ago. And luckily it happened today. And DCS is not bad. Sometimes they find amazing home for these kids. Yes, and they do. I see this as a blessing. There are many people out there who can't have kids who would love to have these kids in their house. Gordon, thank you. You couldn't have said that any better than that. 
Yeah. You are absolutely correct. And they found Ashley because Ashley doxed herself. We are not exactly. following her. Exactly. We are not doxing her. She goes live yeah. and tells everybody where she's at and shows the hotel doors. And she did. She If she would stay out alive, 90% of her problems would have went away. All right. Now we got somebody else. Hey, I just wanted to say. Hey, Michelle. Hey, how are you? Fine. I wanted to say for all these people that are saying that, you know, foster care, they don't need that, whatever. Yes, I've seen horrible foster families in the years, but the minute they took them children, everybody here needs to wake up and realize, number one, they're going to get a medical examination. Those kids are going to get checked out. Yeah, the for everything they need. That's the first thing they're going to do. They're going to do medical, they're going to do vision, and they're going to do dental. And that is what those kids need. Absolutely. And then they are going to put them in public school. They're going to test them to see where they need to be at. The kids are going to be fine. They're going to make sorry. friends. Exactly. She is an addict. And for someone that's never seen or been around or anything, that don't know what an addict is, nor meeting it now. <laughs> you, you've exactly. met her. And you guys that have been so can supporting her are Can y'all recap for the people that just came in? They're asking you to recap what happened. Well, we can recap, yeah. Ashley's in jail. Oh. Oh, let's just put it on me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and the other thing, there is foster families that can take oh, that I baby at one time, but it's hard to find a foster family all, that can take for that all baby. five. Yes, that is hard. That's, and the thing is, like I said, those kids need to be split up for a, a while just to get their own in, individually personality back. Yes. Oh, and they're, the, the longer they're away, the more they're going to talk and open up. And uh -huh. yes, be a lot of they're stuff. going to open up and they're going to start talking. They're going to see that it's not like they've been brainwashed, so to say, of what it's like. Uh -huh. I can just picture them in school running around Natty having friends. Right. That's a, that is an amazing thought. And, that, and that's my hope for them. You know, right. It actually gets help where she can raise them properly. You know, and living in a normal household. You know, when yes. you sit down at the dinner table, you know, with the family to eat dinner or you go out to dinner together, um, you have cookouts in the backyard or friends over for your birthdays, um, you know, holidays spent together, things that these children have not been able to do. You know, and I, I said this the other night when I was on here, everybody thinks, oh, they're just going to take the kids, take the kids. That is not it. DCS, their goal is to help families keep them together and their main goal is whether anybody likes it or not is reunification to yes. reunite the family so she will have a service plan of what she has to do and she'll have things that she'll have to do to prove to them to get the kids back and as soon as she gets, gets out of jail just so everybody knows she's going to get a visitation and Generally, if yeah she'll get visitation and if she does not do the parenting plan she will not get them back Right. Exactly. And the visitation is generally within the first 72 hours. Uh, he's not the dad. Kelly, he's not the dad. She will have recorded supervised visitation. Hi, can I just say one thing? Well, maybe more than one. Listen, I've been following Ashley for quite some time since um, slot, you know, that whole ordeal. And Honestly, I fully 150% believe that this is her chance to get the help that she needs. Yes. Um, I pray for that. I pray for those babies. It breaks my heart. You know, that was, see, that was our there, whole goal. Right. To get right. people that was supporting her, still gifting her. And all that was doing was. Yes. <laughs> right. No, I never need the time. Her. I never did gift her, but um, I am going to say I did watch some of her lives and whatnot. But here's the thing. People are out there blaming the family. That is 100% incorrect. Ashley and Kevin are the ones to blame. Those, they are the 
parents, guardians, whatever, of those babies, they're the ones responsible for them, not the family. And that just, it just infuriates me that people want to sit there and say, well, why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? Do you not think that they've tried? And people need to, exactly. People need to get that through their thick damn skulls that Ashley's a freaking liar. And she's been a liar. Because and that's what babies, addicts do. Exactly. Those, those babies, they need help. They need an education. They need love. And that's not what they were getting. They were getting a mom who was on live almost 24-7. Are we guilty of, of making jokes over the past year or two? Absolutely. We've made jokes about Ashley. She'll say something about us. We'll say something about her. We're guilty of that. But that doesn't mean we want the worst for her. Right, you right. Well, you know, my family makes jokes about mom. me too, and I'm just like, whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, I, there are some things that she has done that is laughable. Um, but I just pray for those babies. I pray for those babies. It just broke my heart to see how almost happy they were. You know what I mean? Like they were yeah. expecting this to happen. Yes. Yeah. And hopeful that it would happen, and it did. I mean, Andy was packing his stuff with a smile, and he put those headphones around his neck. Right, I saw that. Trustin was trust. It, it was normal for Trustin to see police and DCS. Trustin was just sitting there watching TV like it was nothing. Yeah, it's normal for him. That's just. It's all just so dadgum crazy. It's insane. I watched her live when they came to watch the kids. Those kids didn't seem the least bit traumatized. Yeah, no, that was about child labor. No, and this no. is this is the beginning for those kids. This is the beginning. Hopefully, a better beginning. Hold, yes. Hold on. Hey, uh, Cindy, have you got your earbuds in? Yeah. Okay. He's over there. They're over talking loud. Sorry. Anyways, I'm going to drop down. I just wanted Toba to give my support you to the party. family. Yeah. We're, it's a, his mom. We appreciate it. We agree. <laughs> well, you guys are all in my prayers. Maybe this is exactly what she needed to finally get the help that she needs and get those babies the help that they need and deserve. Right. I mean, that's what our biggest goal has been, is to get those kids help. Yeah. Yeah, and I can I I have been able to see it for a long time. But yet so, I'm trash and and I mean I'm just so well yeah she's mean. gonna play the victim she's gonna play the victim role and you guys are the bad people and blah 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 and you know money, money. right right and it's just it's not right because you guys are not the ones to blame at all. Uh, well, let it, me just say it, something here real quick. To the people in the chat, <laughs> Ashley was arrested this afternoon on a uh, ticket in, uh, from way back in Mississippi. CPS was at the hotel, and yes, they said they were taking the children. As far as we know, they took the children out of the hotel room when they took Ashley out. Now, that's all we know at this point. As far as we know, they've been building a case. We can tell exactly. They took Ashley to jail. Um, Kevin was having a meltdown, and the kids were going with CPS. That's all we know. At this I, point. J I just want to cry. Kevin was so upset, and Ashley, nothing, <laughs> nothing, no, right? Not please don't take my babies. I, no, please, no my babies. Whatsoever. She said, no, she was send pissed me money off. To get me out of jail, send me. I need six hundred dollars to get out of jail. What about mm -hmm. your babies? Yep. She was concerned more about getting back on TikTok after she got out of jail. To get and why? Money. Why go on live? Why? Why? let the public i mean the internet's for freaking ever so these kids down the line are gonna see this and be like damn my mom's really a piece of shit yep you know they'll wake up 
I mean, they, they, they'll they probably wind up resenting her for what they she did. But, yeah. you know, that's out of our control. So Right. They, right. they know. They know. It's constantly, the kids aren't helping me. The kids aren't watching Trustin. They know, well, but they have not been able to speak up. I will say well, I think it's I think it's ridiculous that she says the kids aren't watching Trustin. Did did those kids pop out Trustin? And who nope. in their right mind feeds a child at eleven o'clock at night? Porn and my no. Kids. That's the most no. ridiculous my, my thing I've ever seen. Katie, we're not. Katie, Katie, we're not judging nobody. What we was wanting is something oh. done for the kids. She has been the root of this the entire time. Neglect, not feeding, not homeschooling. But yet, those, it, those people on Reddit from day one have been about saving these children. We, they may make jokes. That's right. That's jokes. right. We may say this is screwed up what A is doing, but from the beginning, they have been for those children, and and that's just all I'm going to say. And to Tina, this isn't just one family member. There is multiple family members who want what's best for the kids. Nobody is jealous of Ashley. I can assure you of that. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm just going down the Ashley rabbit hole. Because I, I, thought I saw her live today when all this was going on. And at first I'm like, I felt sorry for her because I didn't know the whole story. I've only right. been following her on and off for a little over a year or so. But dang, now I gotta delve deeper into this rabbit hole, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Who I, was it said it took too. them two weeks? Who was it said it took them two me. weeks? To... Me, when Slot told me to, I was her mod. And Slot told me, do you know anything about her? And I said, no, I'm new to TikTok. She said, go I'm the, type in her name. I am the aunt that she has disowned because I wouldn't listen, take any of her BS. I was trying not to say that. Well, you guys, don't send me any, please. Send them to, send them to Cinna, please. Don't send them to me. I'm not here for that. I appreciate it, but Rochelle? really, send them to her. I know you're not. I know you're not. I just, I just, I'm not here for that either, and I just thought somebody's going to throw a gift. They need it, you know. I apologize. No, me and my husband, we are both disabled, and we live in a two-bedroom house. I mean, he's, it would technically be three bedrooms, but he'd have to give up his game room. So, oh, of course, come <laughs> some, some of the, a few of the boys would probably just be right in there with him, playing all the time. Yeah, he's got a little man cave in there. Do you think anyone will bail her out? Absolutely. Yeah. I have A's Venmo, and when Kay went to jail for the pew pew charges, I went and checked her Venmo where people were sending her money and said, "Go get your man out of jail." They will be sending it, and yes, yeah, it's that money's already there. But the I problem is, she can't she can't access wow. it while she's in jail. No, but Kay, she, Kay, I'm sure Kay would figure out a way. But nope, she can't. Yeah. The I'm thing is that now, that is a case. Let me ask you this: What was the money that she was saying that they needed? She has two what? GoFundmes. One is for an RV, and one is for them in the hotel and stuff. But I keep up with what she makes nightly. And most nights she's pulling anywhere from three to five hundred dollars a night online. Yeah, yeah. And Kevin makes like thirty-two dollars an hour. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> they they are they have bank coming in anywhere from forty. She admitted that they made seventy-five thousand dollars last year. And wasn't one of her uh, followers paid the first week at the hotel there? Yes. Well, the church. That one maybe, but the first time they went to the wow. church, paid for the weekend. That, so that was the church up here in Savannah, the right. hotel in but Savannah. The followers, the followers are sending the food, the Christmas gifts, the birthday gifts, the kids' clothes, 
They're sending money. They're not paying for nothing. No. She should have enough cash to pay, put down on a brand new house and have it paid off. Okay. Christy and Herbal, Herbal, y'all know how much her rent was, right? $450 no, I don't. a month. Yep. Shut up. And they have not paid bills in four months. I'm paying. I'm paying five seventy five to live in my camper. Uh, Ash, Ashley's mother is passed away. She passed away when Ashley was about ten or eleven years old. Her rent was four hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yep. That is. And TikTok was supporting all her bills. Good all her God. That was. That was. Let's see. That was a three bedroom house. And getting food stamps illegally, but she got a thousand a month because she told me that. So why is she in a hotel room now? Like I Jesus. said, I just started. She got evicted. Down. She got evicted. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. I just started going down this rabbit hole. So I, I saw yeah, that she, part. Yeah, she was evicted well, the first part of uh, last month. I'm thinking it was around the 17th, wow. maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. So, yeah. They have, if you have done the right thing, pay the bills, be pretty. Yeah, from what we understand, yes, Grandma, um, hold on. Let's see who this is. I'm going to have nine people in here in a minute. Do you I don't want to speak, I don't <laughs> wanna speak on the reason for the eviction. Somebody can take my place. But I, uh, I still got one more empty box. I still got one more empty box. I'm glad you all have um, yeah, somebody can take mine some too. people out on what's going on. I really appreciate that. All right, I'm T, not who speaking are you? on her eviction because I'm not the landlord. Okay, I've been watching Ashley for a long time, and I agree with all of you. Never given her a dime. The only thing I want to ask is, have any of you all ever been in foster care? Um, I don't think she's here. I don't think she's in here tonight, but there was a girl in here tonight. Hold okay. on. I heard her. Yes. And they do the medical, and they do the dental, and they do all of that. I understand that. And that's going to be great for them because they need that. My only prayer is, is that they go to a good foster home. Right. Because you all don't know what it's like with the essays when all they're there for is the money. Not all of them are that way. I I understand that, but unless you've I have been in one, I have listen. I've met two of the foster people that live around here. Okay, they are some really good people. Well, but are you for sure those two people will there's, get those children? There's good and bad in everything. There's no way there to get is. every foster parent perfect. No, but there do, you, is. do you leave? Do you leave them in a situation where they're going from place to place to place? And no, not, absolutely and not. not. Right. No, well, I'm do. not disagreeing with all any of it. What is, I'm saying is, is pray. I just wish people would pray tonight right. that those children. I absolutely will pray for the children. To a wonderful foster family <laughs> or families that want children and, and that are unable to have them and not some that and i pray they stay together well that would be the perfect situation now whether that happens or not i don't know but i'm just saying if you've never been through it and you don't understand then at least pray that they go to a good reliable Foster home. Miss Lawrence, are I, you still in here?
Miss Box, if you're still in here, will you um who uh, request a box? Miss Wallace. Hold on, I got blah blah blah. <laughs> I got her. This is my first live, sorry. That's okay. Um Well, see. congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for choosing this one. I've let's been look. following Ashley for a long time. Oh, it took look. me like two seconds to realize she was a shitty mom. And I, I just want to say, no matter where the kids go, they, they their teeth are rotting out of their mouth. I'm Neilan and Tristan. Their feet are black. They don't eat home cooked meals. They go to bed at like what two in the morning. Wake up at two in the afternoon. They're gonna be okay. They need to go Please to school. Don't say that you don't care wherever they go unless you've been through it. Anywhere but will be upgrade. Anywhere. No, but not anywhere is better than rotten teeth. Trust me. <laughs> Have you, are you new here? Have you seen the way they live? No, yes, I have seen for years, and I don't disagree with anything that's gone on. I'm just saying, please pray they go to a good home. Don't just and say anything. Where are you from? Better. Where are you from? <laughs> Who here blah, blah, wants blah. the kids to go to a bad house? T, no, where, T, where are you from? Texas. Okay. T okay. We all there's more there is more out. foster people out there than there is here and it takes over a six month to a year process to become a foster parent here we've all been praying for months for these children I know. it takes it I'm takes six months I'm to a year i'm not disagreeing with anybody with any of what you're saying except Blah, blah, blah said anywhere would be better. That's not true. Not anywhere is better. Anywhere is better than they come from. But no, the problem is... is that anywhere would be better. I get, I, get what she, I get what she's saying. Thank you. But the thing it's is, not... not this is a live where Kevin screamed in Natty's face that she'd be raped every, graped every night if she'd be taken. So she is sitting in a CPS office right now thinking she's going to be great tonight because of Well, Kevin. guess what? That can happen. That can happen but anywhere. It can. That, it don't mean it's okay. going to. You hold a child hold up. Hold up. T, if you watched that live last night where she had Natty in a dress dancing in front of a man... That she did not know from Adam. I agree who, with you. Who said Talking that that about man? Golden showers. Who yes. said that man was not two doors down and a human trafficker? Very true. Very, Very true. true. So it don't matter whether you're in foster care, exactly. in a hotel, in a bar. It don't matter where you're at. People can be done that way. There Very are. True. There are good yes, foster people out here. There are good foster people, great ones. But don't, but don't blame every foster parent out here she for, I for didn't. one. I know that, but what I'm saying is, you can't blame. I just everybody didn't say a prayer. That's all I said. The one, the people that I know up here, they're good people. Okay. Well, then I'm I've got, glad of that. I've all got, I've got a gentleman. I've Pray got a gentleman. I've got a gentleman that lives in my house right now. His five-year-old daughter was taken from him because of his mother. We talk to that baby almost every night. That's a blessing. And she is hysterically happy. She misses uh, her dad, yes. But she's happy. She's going to school. She's made friends. Uh, uh, I wasn't saying everybody. All I said was say a prayer that they go to a good foster home. I mean, that's just like a given. I don't see the point yeah. of even mentioning that. Here's I've the thing. I know, you, I know your heart is right. No, my... But you can't have that mindset that all foster homes are bad. There are some foster homes out there really? that are just begging to be parents and that's that they could be amazing people for these kids and that's all the family wants they want these kids to go to a loving caring home where they can be fully taken care of get Mom, everything you might want to block arkansas sassy 
No, 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 no. I want to answer that. I have one daughter. I went into the army. My grandmother had temporary custody of my daughter while I was gone. Okay? While I was gone, she went to a judge friend of hers, got the papers signed so that she could have full custody for this right here. I hope they go to a good place as well because I've been following her since she started TikTok and I'm still following her. I do not associate in the lives. I'm just watching because I noticed not long after following her how she was doing the children and then, you know, going from one house to the other and just all the begging on TikTok. That's kind of what opened my eyes up. And they got they got a lot of money. Oh, lot I bet. Money. Yeah, she's making like almost five hundred dollars every night from TikTok. Her husband makes bank. He's got a good job, better than oh, my yeah. husband. Oh yeah, I bet they're probably they're probably making more money than my family right now, and my, my rent's thirteen hundred dollars. When you see her battle and you see the numbers on there, let's say it says. Two seven four five. That's twenty seven dollars and forty five cents. Now TikTok will take sixty percent of that, she, but she's making that every five minutes. A battle is five minutes. Add it up. No I added it up. She's making bank, which is why she continues the drama at the expense of her children because it's bringing money in. Exactly, and you can comment something, but she will not answer it from what I've seen unless it's something about money um somebody wanting to give her something or send exactly. something exactly yes yeah, and if anything. you try to say anything block. she's gonna mute and block you mute and block yep. mute and block exactly. yep. okay i have a question for the aunt i've I, yes, I i've only been watching aunt ashley actually a couple times and then i've seen you a couple times um yes, my question to you is and i heard you speaking on this last night and a couple more people why are you so dead set on them kids getting separated in in the system though I so that, that that's a good idea so the very simple fact is those kids has been brainwashed for years uh -huh. they do not have their own personality her their mom has told them what to think where to do what how to act uh -huh. they need education uh -huh. they're gonna have to be tested to be put in the proper grade level but why can't they do that in the same home i mean them kids has fend for each other from everything i've heard in your live and you know people talk in the comments they are they love each other they've already yes they do from their parents yes regardless, yes they do regardless what our parents treat us like we love them that's all that's the norm to them i, so, I know, don't want them separated a hard time. I, pray I mean my i know most states try to keep the children together you know can i but say when there's three when there's two or three that's a very, very big possibility when yeah. there's five it's going to be very hard i'm looking for the states well that i was just wondering oh, why you were so dead set on them i mean i i was I listening to you last night and it's none of my bit okay i was just wondering why you were dead set you were wanting them split up and I was the thing is the other thing even if they are separated they're going to get what's called a sibling visitation therefore yes. the kids will see each other before they see their mother they're yeah. going to get a sibling visitation and it's more often than the parents are yes and it's well, usually weekly I know. And here. the thing is, know. if you they know. are in, the, and the thing is, if they're in the same school systems, they're going to see mm -hmm. each other anyway. Well, and I don't think it would be a bad thing if they were separated. That way, they if they were separated, I'm not then saying they would leave them. More. Exactly. I'm not saying keep them separated. I said let I, them become children, get their individual personalities. Yes. Start school, yeah, make friends. Then, if at any way possible, then get them back together. I, I used to foster. 
but I, ju- I just don't box. know more because okay. I have grandkids and I just don't. I'm still raising a grandchild. It's so a lot. It's a lot of work. This is uh, is there? Yeah, it is. It is. But you know what? It pay. I and I didn't do it for the money because they don't pay shit here. But I did it. Uh, actually, I just did a, an emergency situation <laughs> a month ago um, for eight days, and then I had to get on CPS. You guys have to find this little girl a home. I can't continue this all the time, you know. But my question to you is, is there any family? I mean, I know you and your husband have a three-bedroom home. Box, please? Um, Coco, she has already burnt her bridges. Naughty. Uh-huh. I mean, for the children. No, 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 not for Ashley. No, 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 no. Okay. Y'all can kick me if you want to. My mother-in-law. My mother-in-law lives in a two-bedroom house. She has a bedroom. My brother-in-law has a bedroom. The kids would be sleeping on the floor. Cynthia, how long has she not talked to you? Okay, well, Uh, since we kicked her out and had to take her to court. Oh wow! I'm gonna drop and let other people up. My my only question was why did you want them split? Because I, I I was in a home when I was little, but thank God me and my siblings got to stay together. Thank God. Well, Coco, uh, I just want to say also, Ju- I don't want to say his name, but Jay, the oldest kid, he's kind yeah. of an Ashley Junior right now, and it That's would really and he's a bully. You know, big yeah, it would be best to get the younger here. kids away from him. Um, he yeah, he's a bully. Right. Don't correct correct. I mean, I, I'm not. Maybe I shouldn't say it's not facts, but I'm going to say it. But I was in a big creator that I think the world of on this app. And I think that that kid was prank calling this person. Or they thought it was that kid, the oldest one. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I think that, but well, you know, he, you know, he's following in the footsteps of the mother. You know what I mean? Exactly. My only thing is them kids have fin for each other for so long. They love each other so much. I would just... My prayer is, I mean, your family, you're the family, and we all have our own. Up, up We've tried to help. We've tried to help. Uh huh. I understand that. I, and some but, families can't, you know. But the thing understand. is, she has bashed me. She's bashed my husband. Wow. She bashed her grandmother. She bashed wow. her dad, bashed her other uncle. Yeah, I heard you say last night she had blocked her grandmother last night. Yeah, and she's doing that because she wants people to. She's doing that because she wants people to think we're after her, so they will send her money. I just caught her on there making bows because I buy bows like crazy for my new granddaughter. But uh, her price is just wasn't there. It wasn't there for me when I can buy them locally, you know, cheaper. But that's how I found her, and then. Somebody sent me your live, and then I heard you talking about the kids. My, uh, if the kid was taken, blah blah blah. That um, I mean, I'm not saying keep them separated, but they need to be no, separated no, no. for a little bit. But that's all. Them babies, yeah, I agree. Them babies have fin for each other for so, so long. Um, and and when, when it you should... get taken out of a home, let me tell you from experience, it, it's a tra- it's a tra- it's tragic. It's it's, it's horrible. Uh, those kids did not look traumatized. Well, no. uh, did you see him getting taken out? I didn't get yes. it. I didn't see it. Mm-hmm. I'm just asking. I it saw was him online. Oh, uh, was it really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she streams everything she live. She streamed it. Oh, no, I didn't. No. Uh, and I she said, so, she said, my kids are getting taken. Please send me money through Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. What? That's what she said. She didn't Without say, please don't take my babies. She said, send and me money. Kid- well, it makes so, me feel better knowing the kids wasn't cutting a fit because I know when, when the social was a little bit. came and took an us, we fought the social workers, me and my, and I was the oldest, and we fought and we kicked and we spit. They didn't do no good, you know what I mean? We we all, but we all did get to go to the same home. She did hug and that, Andy, but Andy didn't even hug her back. I mean, Trustin was watching a movie <laughs> with cops and CPS or DCS. He was, yeah, I seen him playing on the well, bed. Normal my biggest to them. prayer is for them babies. I've got, my heart is where kids are. And I'm telling you, um, I don't, I have nothing bad to say about you. I can't even say, I've not watched this girl long. I heard you all talking about her cooking that late last night because I was on your live. But I will say, I just pray to God that they get in a good home and if they do get split up that they get uh, like somebody said visitation for each other because they love each other they're brothers and sisters you know but that's all I'm gonna say I'm sure everybody there's more people wanting up here 
So you, all y'all have a good night, and let's just pray for the kids. All right, thanks, Coco. Hi. Bye-bye. Um, y'all have a good I, night. Um, I'd like to do right, some, um, speak on this situation. Um, I, uh, I actually, me and another woman, um, about two years ago, um, gave Ashley fifteen hundred dollars to wow. get away from Kevin. Okay, uh. she did not do it. Okay, and um, anyway, but that was that was on us. This was before. When was this? Um, when was this? Um, this was when she had her old account when she was pregnant with Trustin. So maybe oh. it wasn't two years. Well, it was when she had her old yeah. account. Yeah, he just turned well, he two, just, so two years. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I, but I want to say something. I, I want to say something that people, so people understand this in the chat, okay? I am a foster parent. I also was raised in a foster system, okay? I was abused, yes. So what did I do? In the, in, I was actually probably better off with my mother, right? But what I did was I became a foster parent and became a better person. Let me tell you how this system works. She didn't, those kids didn't get taken away because of the warrant for her arrest. A, the judge signed the removal order. Do you understand? That meant evidence was presented to the judge. Okay. The judge signed the removal order. They went to get a police officer to escort them to the hotel to get the kids. And that's when they found her warrant. Absolutely. Do you understand that Ashley is the only person responsible for this. She Say it has again. abused those children. She has neglected those children. She exploits those children. Her mouth, she will. She fights to be right. She doesn't care about the consequences. And she did this. And I promise you, I promise you that those kids are not going back anytime soon. And I am happy no. about it. I am happy and my heart breaks for them, but I am happy that they are out of that home. People that are talking about foster children, let's talk about a, or foster homes that could be bad. Let's not talk about a hypothetical situation. Let's talk about what's going on right now. They're being abused and neglected in the home that they were in right now. Thank you, Angela. Damn yes, it. Thank you. Thank you. And you guys keep talking about the fam. It's out of, you know what? It's out of everybody's control. It's, it's CPS has those kids. So it's up to them. It's up to a yeah. judge. It is no, it's nobody's control. Whether somebody agrees that the children should be uh, separated or whether they don't want them to, guess what? It is nothing. You have no control over it. She did this. Her mouth her, her, her to not take any advice. She didn't care enough about her children to listen to those workers when they tried to help her. So I, I promise you, they have family. either they have either watched CP, D, DSS, CPS, whatever they're called there. I promise you, they have either watched her lives or her lives have been sent to them. Okay. Oh, Absolutely they they they, have. they, I, wa I have they watch them. them. They watch I have them. sent them. I have called CPS. I've had my caseworker that helps me with my emergency placement get a hold of them. I proudly say that I did that. I gave my name. Good. So does she have an open CPS case that she ran from? That's the only thing I can figure out that she they has are, done. To they, get they were just building the case enough to get the judge to sign the removal order. They've been working on this. Okay, like for a while, it's a sad situation, but the judge was presented with an, an entire case. It takes a lot to get a judge to sign removal. Like, do you yes. people not understand? Her file people was that judge. thick. Absolutely. Hold this woman accountable. Can I say some something? Of these, I just some of these to... people don't know how. No, they don't. No. Can I say something about um, splitting the kids up? So Junior had... Uh, has been taking care of his siblings he needs separation from that so that yes. he can be a, a, a child you know the other ones yeah. need to they need to be their individual selves yes they need That's, their siblings too it doesn't but matter they, what anyone thinks you guys no you're right it no, doesn't matter right. she put them in that situation oh, everything you're saying well, is true you know so what we think doesn't matter everybody pray for those children yep. pray i pray i I know that I sound heartless and that's fine, but I am glad this was the moment I have been waiting for for about two and a half years. Do you understand yeah. me? And, 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 a chance. A and if, and if you all chance? have something bad to say about foster parents, go then go be one and better the system. Exactly. I mean, like I was telling somebody here, it takes six months to a year to become a foster parent. Yes. 
I don't doubt that K may have, you know, did what he did to A, um, Angela. Yeah. But she pulled that string for money. Yeah, she did. And she got it. And, and that was my fault. But I will tell you and this. And there are women out there that are being abused mm -hmm. that could have used that money to get away. Uh, and, and when I presented that to her, we said, okay, that's fine if you're not going to leave. Um, okay, that's fine if you're not going to leave. Okay. Um, could you give the money back so we can give it to somebody else? And she Need said. Need block. She's, no. She, well, yeah, after that. But she. She's, then she ran, you know, remember when she ran from TikTok? She said it was a gift. <laughs> She's so right. I, I, Every, it was a gift. I remember. It was a gift. And it was my bad. And and that's that. But but listen, you guys, you want to know why Neelan's not with Kevin? It's because they she's so worried about working the system. You understand that she didn't even have paternity set. Can somebody drop Robbie wants a box? She doesn't even care about protecting these children. So do anybody else Yes, to today he said they're taking them because they're homeless. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Robbie. Hey. Is there a drug so, problem issue with these, with her? Country said yes. I'm not going to speak on that because I, I mean, I don't, I don't like to speak on things that I don't know for sure, but something I won't, is wrong. I won't personally speak on the drug problem because yeah. I myself have been that low and I have myself have went through that. I'm going on two years clean. Um, you can look at her and tell. Um, <clears throat> all that I do, I mean, I, I do want to speak real quick and just say, you know, the ones that have been advocating for the kids, thank you so much. At this point, we don't know what is going to happen at this point. I know everybody is saying the kids need to step or the family needs to step up and the family needs to do that. The family, 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 family. Our hands are tied as the family. Yep. At this point, it is in CPS's hands. Like, would we love, would we love to reach out and be able to take one of them? Yes, we would. But there are so many stipulations to go through nowadays to even be foster approved. Yes. Especially in the state of Tennessee. And the state of yes. Tennessee is one of the hardest of, yes. states to, to be foster approved. And the state of Tennessee is one of So, like, I understand. No, I am not Ashley's brother. I am Ashley's ex-stepbrother. Capital E, capital X, capital X, capital X, capital X. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say it? Capital X? Capital E, capital X, capital X, capital X, capital X, capital X, capital X. <laughs> Or according to other videos, the untrustworthy felon. You know, whatever. Either way. But, at this point, really, mm. honestly, like, I understand everybody's going to talk about it. But, honestly, at this point, like, I mean, all we can do is pray for those babies. Pray yeah. that those kids yes. get the, the help proper they need. trauma, trauma, grief, counseling, whatever that they need and pray that those babies do not look at um, the authority figures and police and DCS as the problem because that's what they have been brainwashed to think for so long. Yes. yes. And just, and just pray. I mean, guys, just pray for them. I mean, all, I mean, that's really all I wanted to step up here and say, like, I mean, I, like I said in my live, I'm not going to continue talking about it because at this point, what was started out as the kids has now been successful to a point. A stone has been turned over in that, in the right direction. So other than that, mm -hmm. that's all I'm going to, I mean, I will not bash her. I will not talk about what her past is or anything along those lines because it is not my place to judge anybody. I only have to answer for me and my sense. So... But I did want to jump in here and say, you know, to the ones that did advocate and the ones that have seen all this going on, I understand y'all thought we could have stepped in a lot sooner, but there's nothing. I mean, literally, we have done everything from behind the scenes that we can. I will say as a child who dealt with a addiction home that I know what those children are going through. And at the end of the day, the reason why they didn't act so upset to a sense is because it's a relief. Mm -hmm. They're stepping. They're getting 
a relief, even if it's for a short period of time, a long oh, time. I definitely, I definitely agree. I mean, my father was, I mean, my father was a, a raging alcoholic. I mean, he was mentally abusive. He was, you know, I mean, I went through SA with him. I mean, and like I said, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier, talking mm-hmm. about, you know, I was 11 when my father passed away. And even when my father passed away, like I had the conflicting emotions as a child of relief because I knew that all of that would stop. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I had the emotions of that was my father. So, you know, the whirlwind that these kids of emotion, these kids are dealing with right now, it just, it breaks my heart for them. It does. Yeah. And I will say in order to get sub sandwiches, you have to have some kind of past or current addiction. Yes. It boils but my anyways, blood. In I that video, she said, and "My kids that. are." I'm jumping out, Cindy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, man. thanks, Robbie. She said Love in you. that video that her Bye. kids are being taken because of a uh, because of a warrant for a ticket. No, honey, you were getting arrested because your children were being taken. She can't even tell the truth. The cop ran. They ran her name. They mm-hmm. ran her name and found the warrant. The kit that removal yeah. was fine. That's these are two different two different things. And and she's See, lying. Like do you, I mean people please open your eyes. You're not helping her by supporting her know. and blaming this family and blaming people who are talking about it. I will forever judge child abusers and child neglectors. Hold up. I no problem doing that. What there's a timeline that Robbie didn't say. The thing was, Ashley was in that house as a small child, and her mother was scared for her. That's why she spent all of her time down at my mother's. There was burn spots on the ceiling from where he tried to burn the house. There was many holes in the wall. As many things, but the major thing that got to her mother was he was threatening to essay her. Oh. Well, send money to help me get my children back. It was send money to help bail me out. True. Yeah. True. I know. I helped remodel the house. Remember? Yeah. Everything that he just said, that's true because you know. I lived there, and we remodeled that tra- that trailer. So, were all her children homeschooled? What homeschooled? <laughs> when did you ever see them being homeschooled? Is the question. When? He pulled them from school when when they when D when D S whatever they are when social DCS. services started quest- when they started questioning the children she pulled them from school well that's a big sign of abuse is when you pull your children from school for sure hey jennifer uh zero times two is what <laughs> is zero to her zero times two is zero but two times zero is two there's been instances where the kids came up and they couldn't read like what she wrote on a board for dinner. Natty, who's like what ten? Yep. I think that I think Ashley dealt with a lot of trauma as a childhood in her childhood. Maybe I can't speak on it, but trauma carries over. It carries over if you don't if you don't repair it, and it's hard to repair. And the thing is, I knew I I met Ashley 21 years ago. Okay, she was 10 years old. What happened between from the time she was born to the time I met her, I do not know. But I will say this, from the time I met her until a few years ago when I kicked, we kicked her out of here. Until she started having babies at 16, that kid was spoiled. She never got disciplined. She w- went to church. She went to the dentist on a regular basis. She did not have any trauma in her life that I knew of. I think it's fair to say uh, just her mom dying young is traumatic. Yeah, that's trauma. Her well, her grandpa, her grandpa, which is my 
you know, my, my husband's dad, he passed away a few years before, quite a few years before her mom did. And she and, was close to him. And he, to her, she was his little angel. Wherever he was at, she was right there. I mean, she was as small as a baby doll when she was born. So, she That's slept in a baby. Right she was, was in a, a a baby doll bassinet. One of those little wicker ones. I mean, it wasn't no bigger than this, maybe. I was going to say, piggyback on what you just said, but also what Angela said, which is her way of thinking is very entitled when it comes to the laws. I've never seen somebody that pushes the envelope so far not thinking that the consequences are ever going to fall whether you look at if the school board showed up at my house multiple times mm -hmm. but um, she went to she went to jail last year for not paying her homeschooling fees correct that's and called that's called to being a narcissist i i bet you better believe i'd be homeschooling my kids then just like the eviction she knew months ago and she pushes it all the way to the envelope to even lose all of her possessions because she doesn't think anything's ever actually going to happen. What, the, 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 the pew pew charges with Kevin, she's entitled to have a felon in her house with a pew pew. I mean, no laws apply to her. And unfortunately, her kids are paying the price for that attitude. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And until until that changes, some type of mind shift in her mind that, unfortunately, she's not going to follow any of the rules. I actually was surprised as I don't want to see any kids taken away. I think it's I think it is traumatic. I don't care what the situation is. I think it's, you know, even kids that are abused, their parents are still their parents and they still love them and they still have a connection to them. And um, I, I hate that they're broken at such a young age i also believe they're all children and they're all innocent in the situation even the oldest one yes. but i do hope that um through this they get you know on a good path and most importantly educated i am so shocked that they are not educated at all because they're just going to repeat their cycle with her I, what I'm curious about, somebody mentioned a few weeks ago that somebody requested or that, I don't know if it's true or not, but that the, um, the school board, the state, somebody requested that her kids, she needed to bring her kids in and have them tested. And so I uh, wasn't sure if that was true or not. And so I'm wondering DCS, if that's awesome. DCS come in um, last year or January or something like that. And told her her kids needed therapy. And she that, said, that's no, they when don't. it really went south. Yep. She said, no, they don't need therapy. Well, and she I think part of that is listed. I'm sure some of that's listed. You know, once they have possession over those her children, ball, they probably have them her tested. Her ball is that thick. Her refusing, they wanted the kids to be in therapy. She's the one that put all this information on live, so don't blame us. She said they don't need therapy, and she refused it. And that's when things really started to go south. And her being evicted and being homeless okay. gave them the step that they needed to do what they needed to do. And until Ashley changes her mindset, she will never be able to parent them correctly. Right. Bridge um, said tested for what? Um, I was under the understanding testing as far as their grade levels, as far as their education and homeschooling. They are so um, far below their actual grade level, it's unreal. I work She's with special ed kids, and my kids are smarter than smarter than what they are. And she gets a bunch of people in there that defend homeschooling. I'm not against homeschooling. Homeschooling done right is awesome. Exactly, but learned, you've got to school them. I also learned in 2020, it's not for me as a parent. <laughs> I'm sending <laughs> mine to school. But I just want to say something like what Cynthia said. I grew up with Ashley. I'm related to her, and... Uh oh! Uh, I think I know who you are. <laughs> you probably, I probably do. Um, Tell Brandon I say hey. Uh, um, we, I mean, I grew up with her. She's the same age as me, and we would hang out at grandmother's house. Like my mom would take me over there, and I mean, she was raised 
the same way I was raised. I mean, in a respectful home and to be respectful. And I mean, that's just how our, I mean, how our family was. And I mean, I raised my kids the same way I was raised. And I have no, I mean, it just blows my mind that she could give two craps about hers. Yeah, Billy, Billy seems like a wonderful lady. She is. Uh, I love Aunt Billy, I love Aunt Billy. I love her to death. She's made both of my girls crochet quilts whenever I had them. I mean, I love her to death. She is the sweetest lady I have ever met. And the way she has, Ashley has treated her is it just make it just pisses me off because I could never imagine treating my grandmother that way. I, especially the last few weeks, the way she talked about her is, is pretty sad. Yes, exactly. Well, she blocked, well, she blocked her last night. Well, I'm sure did. Billy loves those children. And a I'm, lot. I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does because my mama, she taught, and she's like, you know, I, we don't get to see, I mean, we don't get to see that side of the family much, but she said, I, and she knows that she would do anything for them kids, just like my mama would do the same thing for my grandkids. Well, I mean, well, for, whatever, her, for her grandkids. Whatever Ashley is struggling with, she needs she needs to be in counseling because she has a serious lack of insight. Oh. And she rides that bubble, and then she does things right on live that everyone's going, what are you doing? And to her, it doesn't even click that somebody's going to turn her in again. It, I like it. She has yeah. no self-awareness. Well, um, I mean, can, I, can I say something no, so I can drop? I just want to... I wanna, Thank everyone that made legitimate um, reports to um, DCS. I want to thank everybody that fought for these kids. And though, I, you know, our, our hearts are breaking because of what they're going through. But there was never an easy way to, there was never an easy way to um, force Ashley into doing the things that she's going to have to do. Parenting classes, um, counseling, um you know all the things getting a place all those all those things um I, it's probably going to go beyond that but everybody thought she's going to need she's going to need a lot of help ma'am everybody thought it wasn't going to happen because there was so many false reports so many false police reports and things like that but the people that actually took the time to send the actual proof the videos and make legitimate report you are part of saving these kids or at least trying to get these kids a, a fighting chance at life and and i i applaud everyone who even quietly did this because i know yeah, the group, i know the group of women that are behind me and they won't ever come forward but but we all i gotta say is that what seems like a sad situation right now could really end up better than anything that's been going on and please just have faith and pray for those kids and and quit blaming this family quit shifting blame the internet is so good at oh well why if you knew about this blah, blah, no they oh, no they shifting. will not uh my texas music no they will not turn return them to her not for a since long time they, not for a while for the very simple fact is now that they have got them they will keep them until she goes through the parenting, parenting plan the yeah. drug the drug program, the um, IOP, the the mental evaluation so at Quinco. Are the kids with family or are they? DCS has got them. DCS has got them. From the way uh, she, she started, she tried. Names. She tried to call Billy even so, after well, she bashed her I and blocked her. I figured she would call her and try to beg her into getting them. And I, like I've said in my comments, Billy just needs to cut her off. She just needs to just. Tell her, figure it out herself. Put her big girl panties on and deal with it. And just because your family doesn't mean they're going to give the kids to you. There are requirements exactly. that have to be met. And mm -hmm. also, I like, the way that, that the caseworker was speaking, I can tell you that she had no... I can tell you from my experience is that she just appeased her and said, fine, give me the names. Give me the names. But she already knew. Uh, those yeah. kids were most likely in She the had already... She, Carly already had the names of Billy, yeah. Agnes... And she's Anybody. too old to be dealing with five kids. Yeah. I mean, you have to, you have to, like, so is I Agnes. Had to get fingerprinted, background checked. I had to take classes. I don't classes. think I know who she is. That you know? is uh, A's mama's mama. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. She lives up in town. Gotcha, gotcha. See, I don't, we, after grandmother died, we have kind of just distanced ourselves. my mom still keeps up with some of them 
but we just kind of distance ourselves. I mean, because grandmother was like the glue for everybody. Yep. I mean, I did you see how she second. treated, you see how she started treating and talking about Billy when Billy didn't do what she wanted. Exactly. This woman is then, so cocky. And then next that, day she's at the house. This woman is so cocky that she thought she could tell a government agency that actually has more power than the police. You see the police assisted them. She thought that she could tell them how it was going to be. Y'all, she was always going to have to yep. be forced to do anything. Always. She was always going to have, this was always going to have to happen. It just took a long time. I'm going to drop from here, but Angela, I just wanted to say thanks for uh, coming in and giving such a, a good, um, good testimony. Yes, yes. Thank you. And, and thank you for what you do in your own fostering. Thank there you. could never be enough good foster families. And uh, to the rest of the family, I just uh, pray for all of these children and hope that they have a much brighter future ahead. We all do. Yeah. Because Nat uh, Natty and my oldest one are the same ages. And when I see, like, stuff that, I mean, just that she that she doesn't know nothing. And, no. Um, Gina, she should be, Gina, she Gina, should be in fifth grade, fourth, fifth grade, just like my daughter is. Okay, Jenna, Kevin cannot, if he even gets a place, he can't get those kids. Because they are not his biological not his. kids. No, he he's not getting them. He doesn't have custody of them. And like I told you, she didn't even establish paternity with Neelan, which is why Kevin didn't even get to keep Neelan. She's so worried about working the system and scamming the system that she didn't mm -hmm. she didn't do the things right to protect her children. Well, that's like on that video she posted what the insurance hadn't changed her last name over. So his last name is Crotz or something like that on there. Castile. Oh, it Castile. is. Yeah, it's yeah. Castile. Trustin's oh. last name is Castile. Yeah, I, kn I knew his name was, but I didn't know about Neyland's. Oh. Mm. All right, well, I have to get off here. I just wanted to put my two cents in there about I know how she was raised because I was there. Yeah, she wasn't abused, now was she? No, was not at all. And I, it just pisses me off whenever she goes the whole the way I was raised, the way I was raised. And I'm like, Heifer, you were, I mean, I was there. You were not raised in an abusive home. No. She was spoiled rotten, was she not? She was spoiled. I mean, spoiled. me and her both were. Whatever we wanted, we got. Right. You're breaking up, sweetie. I think probably, I'm probably getting reported. Me, her, girls. No, I, I don't think you are. Okay. Somebody said, "Can we get a recap, please?" Oh, uh, uh, Skylar's well, telling me to. Get, I've got to get my two kids in the bed for school tomorrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Kaylee. Thanks. Uh, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 And I want to thank you too, Angela. You've done very good. I mean, thank you know. I know that you guys are guys like thanking me, but it's not. It's not just me. There was been a whole. There's been different groups of women a all over group, this yeah. app. But I just wanted to make sure that people understood that she even lied in the video. Like she's lying about. I wanted you to understand the process. You know that that they go through, and then like how all the people that. You guys, like, they would have been taken a while ago if there wasn't all those false reports, false police calls, because there was a lot of that. There were people that were, there was one time they called them out saying that they were non-responsive and they were, you know, like there was things that weren't true and those things worked in Ashley's favor for a while. But like I said, like nobody is to blame for any of uh, any of this uh, of the people that brought awareness or anything we're not to blame for anything what what we should be doing is everyone if you see child abuse or neglect or anything on the internet record it and email these videos to to their department of, of Ch children and family services but it has to be legit it has you cannot just because you don't like someone to do that you know what i mean you can't do that it has to be legit they will listen they have to build a case and they have to present it to a judge yeah they've been building That's this case since works. last year yeah and uh, i have a question for you so yeah. now that tristan's in 
CPS custody, is it plausible to say that they might try to find his father or family that could help him? Or she would him? have to tell them who that who they. She would have to tell them who he is, right? Okay, so if she did name the father, which I think she could even say she don't know who the father is, right? They would have to oh, establish paternity, and then that would they would have to establish paternity, which means a DNA test, and then anyone if that was done. Anyone that qualifies that would be Tristan's biological family would be able to take them if they wanted and they passed everything. But I, I mean, I don't. Hold up. It says Ashley's on live right now, not in jail. Well, she probably got bailed out. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, that bond yeah, it's was just a ticket. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but that was a cash bond. Yeah, $500. That, you said, yeah. Yeah. That means she, Kay had to go. Out. I had no doubt she would be out. I had no doubt. That she's not live. How's that going? She's not live. They allowed it. She's not live. No. Becky said Kel Kevin bailed her out. I mean, it, it's just a, if it, that's what I don't know. Like what she probably got. If it's a five hundred dollar to get out, I would assume that it's like no insurance tickets, a big like high fine tickets um, uh -huh. that she never showed up for, you know, she didn't know about the ticket, right? Because a cop Bull. writes you a ticket and you have no clue. You have no clue you have a ticket. You have no right. clue you have a court date. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. It's come right on. on the bottom of the ticket. She only got arrested because her kids were being removed. Don't let her And that's stay. because Don't let her, her kids were getting, DC has come down there. They had to take the cops yes. with them. Yes. When they, they, they told them up. her name, Mm-hmm. They run her background, and yes. boom, there is the there was the outstanding warrant. Yes. And I guarantee you if they would have run his name, they would have got him too. And that's sure normal. Run his name. If a police officer comes to my house, they have the right to ID me. I'm sure they ran his name too. They don't go into... So listen, uh, when they remove... Kids, he's, he's, they he does have an outstanding warrant. Well, I, depend, I mean, for what? child support okay well um yeah they have to have a uh, protection they never remove children without uh, a police escort ever oh i know that's why the police were there the because a they lot do. of terrible things have happened um and and it's a and it can be a hostile situation so um i don't know i'm just i just I don't know. I feel like so much relief and, and I know there's a so, so much unknown, but like I have a lot of faith. And like I said, people in, in the chat that were talking bad about foster parents, like I understand what you're saying. Yes, it does happen because it happened to me. You know what I mean? Like I know I lived it, but then go out and do something. Then contribute to the system that needs foster parents. You know, like the truth is, is like, it, it, and everyone saying this and that it doesn't matter what anybody wants. Like I said, it's completely out of control. Like it is completely out of anyone's control. Now the government has stepped in. The, the government that they are so so against has stepped in and removed their children. Okay, because her she her mouth, her mouth and her refusal to do what she <coughs> needed to do. That's and, and exactly. besides all the besides all the abuse and the neglect but i'm saying like she could have done i mean she could have there was a time that i thought maybe she was gonna listen you know she's had her children removed before people forget about that and let, oh yeah nothing was wrong then either she wasn't doing anything wrong then either you're right, right. there was a time that she quit going live as often and when she would go live she wouldn't mm -hmm. talk she would just do her crap Mm -hmm. So you you are correct, Angela. He and, did and for a while, like protect them in the sense of it, not showing them, and but but because Ashley can't stand for anyone to tell her she's doing anything wrong. Just like when all, do you guys remember one of the first visits that they why they got called is because she had because Tristan was playing in a cleaner. Trusted was playing in cleaner right behind her. And she said, no, it's fine. He doesn't get into anything. But guess what? After the visit, where was all the house cleaning products on the fr on top of the fridge? You know, she lies. She has lied. She lies so much that she believes her own stuff. And we've the people that have been around for a long time, we have caught her in so many lies, so many lies. Like it, it, it's to where you can't even believe anything that she says, period, you know, 
period. You can't. And then here she goes with this video and like every, like she thinks people are stupid. You know, right when she said that my kids are being taken away because I'm a warrant. No. And then, then she, then she sits there and, and records the caseworker saying flat out, we got a judge to sign the removal order. I do have one question really fast. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Angela. Oh, I'm just sorry. I'm ranting. No, you're good. You're saying everything that needs hmm. to be good. Um, my question is, is the child support in Tennessee or Mississippi that he has a warrant for? Uh, Tennessee. Because I do believe that Mississippi is an expediting state. I'm not sure. If hey. Yes, they do expedite. They do? Yes. Hey. My thing is, you know, like that thing with the ice cream that day, I don't know if y'all was on live or not. I was on live that day, and she said, um, I got to call Kevin see if you can have some of his ice cream. That was ridiculous. Oh, honey, that's the least of worries. But that's that's why I'm saying, though, she, she fed her and her, her and Kevin, but she didn't feed them boy, babies, though. They withhold food from the kids a lot. That's why they would sneak peanut butter to their room. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying, um, she... She, if somebody, if some food belongs to somebody else, she had to call them and ask them because they have that food. She uh, said herself she only feeds the kids two times a day. What was it, lunch and a dinner at midnight or something? Well, the thing is, when uh, they got evicted, the landlord went in there and they started cleaning everything up. There was a backpack in there that had ramen noodles in it that had been there so long they had already turned black. Mm. So, yeah. I'm telling you, once these kids get with a therapist with CPS and they start talking, especially Natty and Neelan, like, I don't know if they're going to go back, like, with everything they're going to spill out. She just what about poor Andy? Everything that's gonna what be about poor Andy? What about She's poor not, Andy? The oh, one Andy. she... Yeah. Andy I mean, babysits and, all the time. They're going to give her a list of things to do, like like we talked about earlier. Um, the kids are definitely going going to go right into school. She's probably going to be ordered to keep them in school, um, no matter what. She has no choice right now. But like everything that she's going to have to do, she didn't. You guys, she. This is what I see, and this is why I say I predict that those children are going to be out of that home for a long time because she did not want to do the bare minimum that I, they asked her to. And when she gets presented with everything it, that she's going to have to do now to even see them. You know, like, I, I, I don't know. She, she really made, she really did it. She really did it this time. She might not even want to do everything just because someone's telling her to do it. I hope she gets out of that mindset. Yeah, she does. She has a problem with authority. I know. I know. Or and I told, I told my sister from the get go. I told my sister from the get go. I said, if, I, if she says on TikTok, she ended up losing kids. What, what the hell? I told my sister, and I was right. She honestly just uh, milk this situation. They, money. <laughs> they couldn't stay time. with Kevin because Kevin is not their biological father. She'll have an updated GoFundMe by tomorrow. And even though Neeland is his, there's been no established paternity, so that might take a minute. Yeah. That I mean, and we and we all know Tristan's not his, and they and they may not approve. And just because your family, like people keep harping that, just because your family doesn't mean you get approved to take these children. Like I, you know, everyone's oh family, why don't you take them? Why don't you take them? You know, the, you know who's in charge now? DCS is in charge. <laughs> you know, there is a. It doesn't matter what anybody wants to do. Exactly. Because, unfortunately, it does not matter if these people, if her, if. If Cynthia or Amber or anybody wanted to take them children, it's not up to them. Nope. Hey, you guys. My name is Cindy, and I have been a follower of Ashley's for quite some time as well. I am from Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, actually, and I have dealt with DCS. Um, it was many years ago I dealt with DCS taking my children away. The reason why they didn't leave any of the children behind is because they had a removal for all the children away from kevin and ashley yes. not just from ashley yep. and they will both be required and uh, kevin will be required to establish paternity the other children's 
fathers will be required to establish paternity. That will be like one of the first court dates they'll go into is to establish paternity because they will provide a lawyer for the children. Yes. They provide yep. a lawyer for Ashley, for her, for Kevin, and for the children's fathers. Well, yep. they won't supply one for Kevin because he he was not arrested. No, no, no. That doesn't matter. No, no. That's that's Our, besides the point. No, that this arrest doesn't do have anything to do with it. Services, and when they remove your children, the state provides you with a lawyer. Everybody, and she tells people she needs money to pay for a lawyer for this. She does not need a dime because the state grants you a lawyer when they take your children away from you. But Kevin just stated a while ago he's got plenty of money. Oh well, you know. No. They may charge them at some point in time if they want to brag about the money that they have, but I don't she think that's the truth. That's she not. Said, she said they made seventy five thousand last year. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would believe that. I mean, she's hiding it. Absolutely, I believe that. But when they go into court with this stuff, the ch the children's services already knows what's going on. There's a lot more going on than we mm -hmm. ever we would know. realize. And we won't so know, and we won't know because family court and this whole stuff, people that say that they're talking to certain people and stuff like that, I can tell you that, listen, oh, no. it's completely sealed. Like you can't, nobody's going to know anything and she's, you know, yeah. and here, here's the thing, the way that this was executed, I feel, I, I do, I, I really feel like um, they already had placement for the kids. Like they didn't just go, this wasn't like an emergency, I mean, it is an emergency, but you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a, 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 a DV situation or something where they, where they had to take the kids out right away and they didn't have, I believe that they have placement for the children, especially well, with I do presenting. believe they already had, had something yeah. worked up with placement, yes. definitely. Yeah. But I think it was an emergency removal because they left and went to Mississippi and the CPS cases in Tennessee. And I think that the CPS cases, they were about to take the children and they took off to Mississippi yeah. trying to get away it from these like that. And that was you an emergency to. removal, guarantee you. Well, I, what I'm talking about is emergency situation, like oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a DV thing or like a, a crime being committed where children are present, stuff like that. That's different. That's yeah. why I think that with them presenting this to a judge and the judge signing the removal and um, they, they, I think they, the way that it works is most likely they have already had placement for the children. Yeah, definitely. I believe that they'll, they'll have Ashley come to the office um, and they may mm -hmm. not now because she went to jail. I don't She'll know how that will work. She'll have to go to a court date. She'll have to go to a court date. But they'll have her fill out a lot of paperwork. All the... She she can't do anything until she goes before the, the give, judge. They want the, the, the way it the happened family with court her, judge. The family court judge. She and the way it happened with me was totally different. Yeah, yeah. She's not, not going the in. Law in, judge. in the, and her her her, 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 her mouth is not going to go well with a judge. She's uh -huh. gonna she's gonna put oh, her own no, foot in her mouth. She thinks she knows it all. Yeah. Definitely. Well, she did make. <laughs> I feel remember, so she did make fun. Remember, she did make fun of the judge. Yeah. What? Definitely. And it's all oh, online. Yeah. I mean, recorded every bit of it. And she doesn't remember that she says this stuff on live. And does she not realize that all these people are recording everything she says? It is, nobody has to twist anything that she says because she says it right out of her own mouth. I have a question about courts. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Pam. Um, was that she was videotaping in the courtroom of something? I don't think she should have been doing that either. Me? Or she videotaped me? Yeah. Oh, she, you were in court and she was videotaping you? Yep. Well, that's, she, she can get in trouble for that, can't she? Because you're not even supposed oh. to have your cell phone See, in court. You can have your cell phone, but it's got to be muted and you're not allowed to record video or audio. And right. she did both. Yeah, because wow. I seen it and I was like, why is she videotaping and why haven't they said anything to her? Well... Well, I guess it's different in each state because we're not allowed over here. We're not allowed to. Take no, 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 no. The judge yeah. did yes, not give Taylor her permission. Yeah, the judge, the judge did not give her permission. So that's going to be a strike against her. I, can I ask a question real fast? Sure. Hey, Flo. Hi, hi y'all. <laughs> it's nice to finally like i'm talking and not chat um do they when 
they get taken in Tennessee. I've been through this myself in Arizona. I'm also I'm a recovering addict, and that's why my kids were removed. It was like a minimum a year, and that was with me flying from day one. And yes, that's I guess my question: Do they? Yeah, do they have? Um, do they come up with like safety plans, I guess, or like a list of things that they have to do? Is it, oh, is yeah. that usually like the first yes. meeting? Yes. They, okay. Well, she's passed yeah. the safety plan now. The safety plan was an option, but that's, okay. that's no longer there. Now See, she's going to be I think that's why the kids have been at home so long because they yeah. were trying to keep from removing them and they had plans in place for them to stay in the home and, and they failed all of those plans. Yeah. I mean, just cause she, you know, nothing's ever her fault, of course, like we've all said. No, no, no. A safety I'm plan just... is preventative. A safety plan is put in place before the children are removed. Yep. Okay. Okay. I just wasn't sure. Thank you for answering my question there. You're welcome. Let's see who else wants it. Who keeps saying she's live? I just came from over there. She's not live. They're just you can drop me if you want to. Oh, I got nine boxes. I want to hey, say Kendra. hey to Kayla and tell Kayla that we're praying for her. Yeah. You know, I tried to speak with Ashley, tried to be like friendly with Ashley through the chats and stuff. And she would just immediately mute you. And I was blocked at one point. Um, and I think I'm still blocked. I can't. Find Welcome to my world. It's a recording. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Yeah, she she doesn't want to hear anything positive whatsoever. Because um, in her eyes, everybody is out to get her, and it's really not that way. But what she's hiding from keeping the kids out of the doctor's offices and not in school, she's hiding abuse and mm -hmm. neglect. And that's exactly yep. the reason for her not going to the doctor and to school. Once it's those sad. kids open up to like the professionals who they put in place, like the counselors and stuff like that, that those kids will be seeing when eventually they like trust them and they're away from their mom and their mom's not, see, she'll, she'll have to have supervised. She won't even be able to talk to them children without somebody supervising right now. Okay. So once those way. kids, once those kids open up and I do believe they will because they will, I, I, I really have a, a lot of faith that they're, cause I don't believe that they, I don't believe that they're happy children and I think that they know that this isn't normal. And um, when they open up and they start telling other things like the stuff like that we don't know, the stuff that goes on, that we, because when you see something, there's probably three times more going on behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. So then, then more things will be added. More things will be added to what her requirements will be. And then time wise, I mean, there's no, they don't actually say, I'm going to remove your kids for a year or I'm going to remove your kids for a minimum of this. It takes that long to, it, it takes that long. Like she has to go in front of a judge. Then, then, then it takes a while before no, when that, these things my... are all processed to even get supervised visitation. A judge has to okay that like the case manager presents it. Like it, it is, she's going to be going to court. She was complaining about going to court before she's going to be in court all the time now. Mm -hmm. And if she, and here's the thing, if she doesn't do what they ask her to do, DCS will go forward to, to, to terminating the rights. To terminate rights, yep. Yes, they mm. will. And I, they will. They absolutely will. And if she okay. goes in there with the attitude that she's right and they're wrong, she is never going to complete what they need her to complete. I mean, she's got a chance right now to, to, to humble herself. And, and right. think about and think about these kids and, and she, I believe and I don't, I don't care what anyone says I believe that she can do it I believe it's going to take a long time and it's going to take a lot of work but I believe that she can do it and, and if and it, because like that would be the goal right for her to become a better those, those kids love their yeah. mom like right. that's their mom regardless I loved my mother and she was an abuser no matter what I loved her you know what I mean? I just, she can do it. She can do it, but she's got to get, get her, her little rose colored glasses off. She needs to get off TikTok. And actually I did some investigating about that and the, actually she can be ordered to stay off, uh, social media, social media. Yes. Absolutely can. Yes. She sure can. 
Okay. It takes a lot, but it can happen. And, and absolutely through uh, DCS, it can happen too. Okay, Cindy, your turn. Okay. Uh, somebody asked on here, uh, why did I not give a damn about the kids till lately? <laughs> I did give a damn about the kids. That's why they lived in my house for a while. That's why she let her kids destroy my house. When we sued her, at that point, she called me every name in the book. I said, I'm done. From the time she moved out to last year, I did not care where she went. But then somebody sent me that video of Kevin yelling at those kids. Just because they were too strung out. To get up and get those kids dressed for church. But yet those kids wanted to go to church anyway. So they went to church. Dirty. It don't matter what you look like when you go to church. As long as you do go to church. I started giving a damn. When he started saying she's going to be sexually assaulted. The whole time. That she's in foster care. You do not put that in a child's head. A child. You don't do that. That is verbal and mental abuse. Well, I'm not too sure she ain't already been at that age. Who calls their child a rape baby? Exactly. Uh, appa apparently she does. I don't believe that no more than a man in the moon. I mean, you guys in the chat have to understand that people did what they could. Like, your hands are tied on certain, like, you're like, you act like, like, uh, Cynthia could just go walk in that house and, and take all five kids out. You know, like, I don't, I don't understand the mentality of the people in the chat who say yeah, stuff I mean, like that. There was just those are some of her, those ago. are her followers. Yeah, there was just More a lot in here a while ago that gave her and someone else gave Ashley $1,500. Fifteen hundred dollars. I did. Of their I did. That money. was that was that I was did. Angela. Okay, Angela up here. Yeah. So I absolutely did. dollars out of her money away from plus her the three thousand for her team. Okay. There won't know. Did I call CPS? No. I did. <laughs> I emailed them. I called them. I talked to the police department. Why I do did. I need to? Why would I need to do it? She was already digging herself yeah. a hole. That's right. She didn't have to. There, and there's many of us that did. It was really getting to the point where too many people were calling CPS and it wasn't being taken seriously. Well, it wasn't about multiple calls. It was about legitimate calls. And I and I I I found out that emailing and sending the video proof was the best way to do it. You can't deny I know Country, proof. her old mod, she sent in a lot of stuff to DCS, I mean, weeks prior to this. I don't know if she had something to do with this, too, if she had a smoking gun or something. Hi, Michaela. How are you? Well, I just wanted to hop in here. I saw, like, a lot of comments about like, what will happen to the Can you speak up? I can't hear you, honey. Y'all can't hear me? Look at that. Am I good now? Yeah, just speak up a little louder. Okay, sorry. I'm just sick, so I'm not working. Kind of raspy, but um, I saw a lot of comments about like what will happen to the kids. Will they? Will she get them back right away? So I actually have like a perspective on both points. I am a licensed therapeutic foster mom, and I also just became a family law attorney. So um, when she, like now that she's in jail, when they went and got um, the removal order. What will happen is the judge probably already signed off on the visitation for both mom and dad, and they will go. They will get a pretrial hearing, which is um, discuss like all the claims and allegations, and they'll either be adjudicated, which most likely they will, um, which means that the judge finds that the kids were abused or neglected, and then they'll go into a disposition hearing where they show all the evidence, they'll bring in witnesses, they'll go through all of that. And if that happens, they're most likely not gonna get their kids back. I've seen this. And with all the videos that they've got 
of the abuse, the neglect. Yeah. That's a very big possibility. I've seen this like very, very often. And a lot of people I've heard in the live tonight is saying they, their number one goal is reunification, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It's really not. And in this case, I don't see reunification anywhere in their future. Um, it's, it's what's best for the kids is what needs to be done. And yeah, I, I don't agree I with that. I don't agree that I, I don't see reunification. I, uh, I, I just had a girl with me. What happened um, to her? Yeah, I don't, I don't know about all that. I, because there. I must be getting, but I must be getting reported. Reset. All right. I'll be back. I mean, the thing is, I've always wanted what was best for the kids. And that's one of the reasons why we let them move in here. Right. Because they were being kicked out of this one place. And so we let them move in here. Right. I mean, we were gone for months at a time, you know, on the road. Yeah. And she let her kids destroy my house. And if you did not care for her, you would have never allowed her to move in. So people Exactly. Just, yeah. They can throw that out the window. Yeah. And also, I see a lot of comments about um, the kids going with family. Unfortunately, um, CPS will do a lot of background checks. And, like, if you really have one minor, like, a misdemeanor or anything like that, they're not going to place the kids with you. That's just how they are. And you have to go through what's called a home study. And if your house is not big enough, they have certain rules. Each state is different. But, like, yep. for my state, um, boys and girls have to be in a different room. When they reach a certain age, they have to be in a different room than their siblings. Stuff like that. Yep. And for she five bonded, kids, that's a lot. Uh, yeah. She bonded out at 912. I believe it. <laughs> that means Kevin went and got her out. And she's going to put her foot in her mouth and go live. Oh, yeah. All for, all for money. Yep. The haters did it. The haters caused her to do, lose her children. Yep. The haters did it. It's, it's, and I'm, and I'm wondering, what have, I, what, what, have I got, what have I been doing doing today? I've been in town. Problem. I've been in town. I've been in town. I didn't care about you her. Didn't, yeah, you didn't even know until I, after I knew. I mean, I got. I was over. Mm -hmm. Me and my husband was bottling oil, and I got a phone call from my stepdaughter, and somebody had sent her a message about it. So I didn't even know. So. And it, and I still took it still took me thirty minutes to even watch the videos. Somebody said they can't believe she's out already. You know her. Well, that's a cash for, bond. Uh, that's yeah. a cash bond. That if means she what she did sat was in there. If she could have sat in there for a week, maybe that would have given her time to get off TikTok and think. But <clears throat> no, the laws are the laws. Yeah, a well, cash bond. You don't even have to have a bondsman. You can just sign yourself out and pay the ticket. Yeah. That's a cash bond. And what she did, all she did was just pay the ticket, and now that ticket is now gone. She will not have to go back to court. More than likely. So. Um, I just saw someone comment that they're going to put them with family. I highly doubt it. A lot of um, cases I've actually seen, too, recently where... <clears throat> CPS did like the background checks and stuff on the family, but it was in the children's best interest for them not to be placed with family due to like a um, safety risk, like of them letting them see the parents without supervision, stuff like that. Well, Grandma Billy has a two bedroom house, and those bedrooms are, have, are full. Agnes has a two bedroom hey, house. And one of those bedrooms is, you know, full. But that house is is covered in roaches and dog feces and fleas and everything else. Last time I was in there, of course, that was a 
quite a few years ago. I mean, no matter what, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry, somebody in the comment. They're going to have somewhere to sleep tonight. They probably already had an emergency placement put for them. Like, on for the, me, I'm an emergency placement provider. Yeah, they're probably on the floor. They slept on the floor when they was at Billy's. <laughs> she told and, the child, the, is it D, D, where do, it's CPS where I'm from. DCS, what? Department of okay, Children's so Services. DCS. She told her today that her hotel was approved, but it was the same no. lady that told her no hotels. They have the kids have to be split up with family yep. members, like two here, three here. So she, she believes her own lies. I mean, I, you know, it's all recorded from her mouth. Oh yeah, and see, she recorded the eviction, so everybody heard that. She, everybody heard her lie to DCS. Well, I'm gonna send two here and two here. Me and Kevin mm -hmm. and the baby will go to a hotel. That would have been fine. But no, she pushed her way right into Billy's house with all five kids, her and Kevin. And they stayed there for almost two weeks. There, um, I'm kind of hoping that they put the kids in a therapeutic home. They um, need it. They need it. Because there's a difference between uh, licensed foster families and then therapy or licensed therapeutic foster families like I'm a therapeutic foster mom so I take kids who come from a background of severe abuse severe neglect or special needs like my daughter's autistic or my foster daughter's autistic um, so I think that they would really benefit from that especially Neelan and Andy Almost six, and he's in diapers. There's got to be a reason, because he was hey. not in he was not in diapers at three and a half for a little while. Sandy, have yeah. you seen yeah. her mugshot yet? Nope. <laughs> it's on Reddit. <laughs> well, I've been on here, so I can't get on there. <laughs> Hang on. What's on? Oh, her mugshot. Oh Lord. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Put it up. Kind of fuzzy picture, but here, hang on. <laughs> oh Lord, here we go. Frick, is, she, is is her gums eating her lips again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, let me unplug my charger. Stand it up. <laughs> You're wrong for that, Mama. This this face. This picture is kind of. What the hell just happened? Hold up. I touched a button. <laughs> oh, there it is. Can oh you see my it? Gosh. She's actually smiling. Yeah. <laughs> gender He's says la -la ho hold on, hold on. Somebody says it says gender says male. Look at the gender, mama. See if it says male. It sure does. <laughs> and she's going by the last name Crotz. Oh, wow. So people was... are in the, they're in the chat upset about making fun of Ashley's look. So I just said, Nobody's oh, God, laughing at her. Myself. We're laughing because she smiled in her mugshot. Get off y'all's high horses down there in the comments. No, uh, what I was amazed at is she's a male. She's a male. I mean, I'm from Tishomingo County, but let me tell you something. They're not that backwards. <laughs> yeah, they're not that backwards. I don't make yeah, fun she's... of somebody's teeth because my teeth are bad from radiation. So you didn't hear me say anything like that. No, it was posted, what, last year when she made that god-awful face. Somebody said her, her gums were eating her lips. Mm. 
Don't make me take mine out. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can't say anything because I need my teeth removed from radiation, so I don't make fun of people's teeth. And I've never done rugs, so. Mine was because of my smoking. I used to smoke, too. Hold it still. Go down. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm going to answer one more question that I've been seeing, and then I'm going to get off here. But um, the judge will require um, Kevin to take um, a, a paternity test. The only one that is possible is Neyland. Yeah, he'll make, he'll make, probably make him take it for all if if she claims that he's the father of all of them, he'll, the judge will require it for all of them. No, the judge knows that the first three, which is Junior, Natty, and Andy, all belong to to the Crocs. Oh, okay. Because he got custody of them a while back. Yeah. Then he'll just require it for the other two. And, let me, yeah, Tristan's not his. I will there's, say at There's first, no way. At first, I was um, skeptical or skeptical. God, I can't talk today. But um, one of my foster placements, I don't have him anymore, but his his dad was mixed, but he was um, Caucasian. And they like that the judge ordered a paternity test and it was 100% his. So it's kind of crazy how genetics work, but. Um, I mean, she admitted on some of her other lives that James was the dad, but then she said he's not, then she said he is, then she said he's not. And, and who knows, the father may come forward when he finds out that the children have been taken. We don't know. We do not she, know. Would have to, she would have to give up his last name. I'm saying if he hears about it, he may come forward to... Uh, you know, to the family services for the children. He may come forward. We don't know. Well, he he's only allowed technically the one that he fathered. Uh, right. Then Kevin Kevin's only allowed possibly Neyland. So, I mean, either way, the kids will be split up to a point. Yeah. So, Wendy, you're wrong for that. Okay, y'all. Well, thank you for letting me get up here. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you. Can you uh, remove me? Because I have no idea how to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. I'm going to get hate for this, but I'm going to come out and say it. I may have said things about Ashley because she doesn't know me and keeps saying my name on her lives, even though I don't even know her. Okay, but, Cindy. But I want to say this. I will still watch her lives and and I still care about her and those kids. And, I, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I think that she's gotten better at her bow making. I think that she's got some talent. If she would just straighten up her life, I think that she could do well with these children. But she's got to admit that she has a problem and fix it. Well, she also needs to fix her prices on them things. And I and I get that, and I understand that people make fun of her stuff. But I think that some of her bows look really amazing, and I'm and that's my opinion. I'm in, and I'm entitled to that. Yeah, I mean, don't, I don't get me think wrong. Awful. No, some of them are pretty good, but then you got some of them that are kind of out there, but. Her bows, quite a few of her bows were good. I wouldn't Missy, wear them, what do you but. Mean? What do you mean, Misty? This is not my original account. A got my original account permanently bananaed. And I didn't even do anything. All the stuff she does and, and nothing happens to her. If anybody would like my name, I'll gladly give it.
Cynthia stays crapping on her, LOL. I mean, if y'all don't like what I got to say, there's the door. You know, that's, we, that, that, that was just us being petty because she was being petty. Ashley, what do you mean? Who are you talking to? You said, did you have anything to do with what happened? Can you, Cynthia, ask, can you, can you Cynthia, say I just were, wanted to pop in and tell you i was reading some of the messages under ashley's newest videos under the eviction not the eviction when the kids were getting taken and your name was a link to where they could highlight it saying that you're the reason her family's in turmoil right now so you're probably gonna oh. get a lot of people in this live well the same with me that, yeah i mean she she's been me. harping on for, for months she blamed me for her eviction and we don't even know her i don't even know her and i and i got her evicted so whatever here's your one i didn't get her evicted I didn't get her arrested. I have my own life to live. My biggest concern was the kids becoming kids. Not her little babysitters. Not her slaves. Not her little minions. Those kids need to be kids. They need to be in school. They need to have friends. They need to have their own personalities. Not what their mama tells them to have. I think it'd also so it, be a good idea just to maybe turn people to the Reddit because all the videos of abuse are up in there. I mean, if people even question why the kids are taken. Right. Like, we can't go down the rabbit hole for y'all. You have to do the work. Yeah. I mean, up until last night, I didn't know where she was. Then when she outed me, doxed me, and I found out where she was at, there's only one hotel in Iuka. The other one got shut down for bed bugs. So there's only one. And I knew which one. And no, I have not been down there. I've been in town all day. Me and my husband, we went to Bradley's Pawn Shop. We went to Harbor Freight. We went the Reddit to page is Ashley Star Castile. Oh, there it is. Did she run to Mississippi? I would say it more than likely. Uh, she said that they cross they cross state lines because pe people were following her. How am I following her when I didn't even know where she was at up until apparently, last night? Apparently, the whole world follows her. I think a lot, a lot of it is maybe drunk and lies. Say that again. But I think a lot of it might be drug-induced paranoia. <laughs> it's that, and it's money. She's going to lie to bring you in because she wants your money. I know. Her kids are being taken, and she's making a, 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 a not a Reddit, she's making a TikTok asking for money. And her kids are literally being loaded into a car. That just shows you what she's about. With no seatbelts. <laughs> no car seat. Oh, I guarantee, guarantee DCS brought enough. She ended her yeah, live. She ended her live while she was doing laundry in that laundromat yesterday to pop pop Neelan because she warned him several times. He was trying to be a kid and was playing with a balloon. And she ended her live so that she could do what she had to do and us not see it. So if y'all want to believe your lives, you go ahead. You know, Neilan's talking right now. Exactly, Lama. Exactly. Say it again for the morons in the back. Jesus. Go down the rabbit hole before you come and make a, an opinion. Ashley's downfall is that she records everything, and it was all recorded, and it's all on Reddit. She talks she about does. beating on Kevin with that guy, James. About how they and both Kevin beating on abortion. her, and Kevin. Yeah, Kevin her. beating her. She, the did, she did this to herself. You can't tell me she didn't know Kay had a boner when he walked out. And she, oh still, my God. Cho she still chose to post that video. Uh, she laughed about it. How do you know? Uh, what do you mean she didn't know? She freaking laughed about it. Didn't you see that part? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She also called her oldest. Remember, she called him Wiener Hands. Wiener Hands. She calls Nadia yep. Heifer. Yeah. She don't even talk to Andy. No, Andy's. She can't stand trust him because he's in her way. 
and the kids don't help her. Uh, 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 what? Uh, what? It's me. It's me. Stacy, if you don't like it, there's the door. Don't I know. Why are y'all here? Y'all are here too. Hit you in your ass. And let me tell you something. I might be older than Ashley, but I look wiser. younger. And you're wiser. I'm a whole lot wiser. We don't give two rats ass about Ashley right now. Bye, Stacy. Bye. Bye. Toodles. Hey, I've been doing. I've been snoop, been snooping. Um, what up? I was over on Reddit. And they got a couple of taped videos over there of her. Yeah. I have a question. Now, I've never had to deal with um, CPS, whatever they call it. CPS. Yeah. Okay. They, the, I can't believe they allowed her even videotape that. Um, right. Kevin is actually pleading um, for the kids. He was... Um, he was what? That that was hard to see Kevin. It yeah, really was. He, he was actually pleading for those children. And she's just uh, standing there and then she does go over and she hugs the, the one little boy. It never touched the baby, never went to the little girl or nothing. But I don't understand. She hugged the one closest to her that she gives no attention to. Correct. But why did they allow her that extra time? They should, should have just come in, took her and went on. For the kids. Well, the kids act like they, you know, they, they, the little girl was just back in the corner, like, uh, if you notice, she, she, did, she did not walk out handcuffed. No, uh, uh they yeah. did not do that in front of her kids. No, she wasn't in handcuffs. No, that means, you know, they were trying to not traumatize the kids right, right. by them, you know, seeing her, their mama in handcuffs. What did you say the lady's name was that they deal with? Carly. Carly, yeah. And Kevin said, well, I thought I had a, a good relationship with Carly, and but I guess I, I, I didn't have anything, you know? And I'm like, dude, <laughs> I, I kind of feel sorry for him because I guarantee you 95% of what we know, he doesn't know. You're absolutely right. I truly do not believe he knows anything of what she's doing. Right. He only knows what she tells him, and the rest of it is all made up lies towards, you know, all of the, her haters and the trolls and the family's doing this, this, and this, and this, and you know, they turned her grandmother against her. And um, But she had, I she, her face was just a stern and... Yes, no I am tears. by marriage. I'm how is it? Marriage. How is it going to help her to get her children back or not lose her children when she goes on live and tells people that Kevin has a demon in his head? Exactly. You know, I've heard her say that myself. Several and then times. supposedly he on live said he wanted to pew pew himself. Yeah, he, he that, said that today. That is not how. That's not. I I feel for him at the same time. At the same time, I but he needs because it's evident that there's problems. Yeah, he needs help too, because he said that right in front of those children today. And that lady said to him, "Is that really what you want to do?" So they might have sent him for a psych eval. I mean, that's what I would have done if you said that. If I was an officer and you said that to me, you're going you're going in for a psych eval. Yeah, I mean, put him on a what uh, seventy two hold. So 70, uh, it would be a um, 72 hour hold and suicide watch. 5150. No, uh, he probably just got off of work. Well, that's what it looked like. Yeah, he had just got, he probably hadn't got home long before they walked in there. If anybody can sit there and watch Kevin nod while he's standing up and fall backwards and all this other stuff and slur his words and they can still support that and say that there's not a problem you are the problem because mm -hmm. you you are making excuses for child abuse yep most definitely well i mean she printed out pictures 
of Robbie, Catherine, and me, and my husband last year, and let the kids use a, a BB pew pew to shoot shoot them. Who would and do DC, that? And DCS has all that. Oh, really? I, it's my understanding all her videos and lives have been turned over. So that's all I know. Uh, it sounds like to me they. Uh... Well, I, I know when uh, this all started back in Slop, uh, my, that they, someone is saying someone in here is saying she has her kids. God, I hope not. She ain't even home. Well, she got out at nine twelve. Uh, There's no way with the judge's order she has these kids inside of a hotel. Uh, from where she's at to the hotel is maybe a five minute drive. It's not even a mile and a half up the road. If a judge signed an order to remove those children, there's no way. I, you know, I, I, I have a hard time believing that. Yeah, a judge would have to sign off on it. Um, I don't I don't think I can turn my camera on. I don't have enough followers or whatever. But I was yeah. just going to point out the sunshine person. Uh, I didn't think you seen her comments. Because she's been saying she just talked to Ashley. Ashley was out. They didn't take the kids. And I just wanted y'all to address her. Well, who said that? Some, she said Sunshine Girl Lady or something? Her, her name is Sunshine on here. She's in the comments. Get in the box, Sunshine. Yeah, get in the box. You can kick me out. I she just won't do that to... because then A will delete her. Lock her. Hold up, sometimes. Where's it at? Let me see. Oh, somebody's in the. Who's in here? Oh, I've got nine spots. Hey, Herbal. Sunshine is right here. Uh, Kevin posted a satanic is wrong video 24 minutes ago. Satanic is wrong? Do you have, do you have a look at Kevin's Facebook? It's awful. No. <laughs> yeah, he's, his head's in some, he needs to stay off of YouTube. That's all I'm going to say. Well, think about it. She did say he's got a demon. Well, hey. he thinks the government's coming after all of us. They're coming after all our children. And I'm not saying there's not mm. some merit there. But when you sink yourself into demonic stuff on, on YouTube, that's what's going to fill your head. And how do you how do you talk the way that, I, that Ashley talks and then turns around and reads Bible verses? I, I, you know, <laughs> I guess oh, don't that's good, but I, I don't understand it. Mama, don't forget the twerking last night. I just, I don't get it. Yeah, somebody said if, if she's out now, it won't be long before she's on TikTok. I just wanted to say something about foster kids. Everybody was saying a lot of bad things. Oh, no, the kids can't go to foster because they're bad and everything. Well, not all foster families are terrible. We only hear about the terrible ones. There are so many good ones. And you know, if you do something right, you don't make the news. But when you do something wrong, is when you make the news. So out of all the good people that are out there. You want me to go in there so you can turn that up? You, you don't hear anything about them because they are good. Okay. And everybody knows it's only negative that seems to make the media. So I really hope those kids find some good foster families to take care of them. Absolutely. Uh, Logan, 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 Logan Ratliff, please close the app. Ratliff, close the app. Logan, Ratliff, it, close the app out and then come back and you should be able to come in the box that way. Somebody said Logan don't have enough followers.
How many do you need, Logan? He only needs like he needs like twenty, twenty-two followers. Damn, let's 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 go get Logan his thousand followers. Well, you only need two hundred to get in a box, correct? Right. I thought it was, I thought it was eight hundred. No, huh. that's to show your picture. That's why I can't show you how ugly I am. Can someone oh, take me out of the box? I've got two more empty spots. What do you want? Who do you want? Everybody follow Logan. I I picked him up, but he he's private, so he's gonna have to he's get us one. Oh, uh, you can't ask to come in a box and be private. It's a woman, by the way. Oh, she. I'm sorry. Well, she. Well, he didn't. She didn't ask to come in a box, but I don't know. I'm sorry, Logan. Okay, I just get hello. What did you say, Orville? I was just saying, so I hope Logan gets what she needs to be able to to come in. Chris, do you have proof of that? What? What was the question? Said, said Kevin was arrested. It's online. Okay, we need proof of that. I doubt he got arrested. He's been posting on Facebook. Yeah, I have found that out. Audrey, who are you? Might just be somebody starting shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to come in. That's okay. I'm fighting with my baby trying to get medicine down there. I apologize. That's okay. Th that's okay. Where is it at? Where is it listed at? Kevin just posted on Facebook. So he's not, not he, he just not locked up then. Why was he arrested? We don't know if he's arrested. Can someone put Kevin's name on here? I don't know his last name. Kevin. Cheryl. Cheryl. There it is, right there. S H E R R I L L. Cheryl. It's on Reddit. Let me go check. I'll be back, y'all. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, my back is hurting. So, a little bit off topic. Um, I'm having my midnight snack with some pierogies. Have you ever dipped them in Thai chili sauce? Oh, my God, no. it's so good. <laughs> I, can't do, I can't do anything hot because I don't have a gallbladder anymore. Yeah, it is just a ton spicy but it's mostly sweet but yeah i understand my sister just had her gallbladder taken out a week ago and she's still getting used to what she can and can't eat nothing's nothing spicy um anything with a lot of spice in it will tear her stomach up that's good to know i'll let her know that i know she used to love mexican food and she had to say no the other day when I wanted to take her out. <laughs> well, if she has just like the, what is it, the steak fajitas, just eat the steak part, not the onions, the peppers, or anything like that. That's what I do. I love the best part. <laughs> oh, my God, her inmate number. Six, six, six. <laughs> hey, Country Home Sense, I absolutely love the products. I got them today. Yeah, I, I finally melted some of mine the other day. Oh, my Lord, that peaches and cream smell good. Yeah, who did you talk to, Cactus? 
Mm, I looked at their page. They don't have very many followers or following. Yeah. yeah. What you talking Somebody about? Somebody said there's nothing on Reddit lover? about clothing. Cactus lover. Cactus gonna, lover. She's gonna sue whoever typed mail in there. Cactus lover said they talked to her. No insurance, improper tag. Did it say why she was arrested? For an old ticket. Yeah, but did it say what the ticket was for? By any chance? Uh, no okay. insurance, improper display a tag. Mm, all that money and you can't pay insurance? So you're riding dirty? But people like me got to pay for insurance every month? They don't have insurance now. Exactly. I'm trying to get cactus lovers some attention. They won't talk to me. And they keep getting away with it. So why would they? Well, they've also got a brake light out on the truck. And Kevin rides around with no driver's license, so yeah. Go get what's coming to Oh, when did she fix that light? What in the world? It's still out. We know it's not fixed. We saw her fix one, but it was still out when we saw Kevin at Walmart a few weeks ago. What is that noise? Water? Is it like water? She started all this when she was here. She was stealing my truck continuously. Yeah, she was actually taking my husband's truck while they lived while they lived here. And look at all the accidents she's been in. Big Come on. Rush. This one? Yep. All right. My husband looked, found something on Reddit. Uh, Unique Egg said, Yes, it's so sad for the kids to have to go through all this craziness. I bet a thousand that the aunt of hers reported where she was at. Because she <laughs> just told on herself on live. Her aunt has no room to talk. Didn't her get kid get taken? And she is a felon too? Only people I feel sorry for are the kids. The rest of the family is crazy as hell. I pray those kids get the help they need and go to a loving home. Cindy is a huge ringleader. What is she, 70 and acting like a dang fool too? <laughs> Well, Miss Unique Egg 4053. Sounds like you? you believe Ashley. Why are you on Reddit? Yeah. Uh, don't you know, yes, don't you know we all been in the corner? Who smiles for a mugshot? After the kids have been taken. Wow. Yeah, she's she's out on bond now, or she paid her a ticket. She bonded out at tw nine twelve. They said. Let them so defend apparently, charges. her legal last name isn't the one she portrays. Do what? Do what? What? The ticket was probably when she was crotz. I guess I don't know. Independent said so. Apparently, her legal name. Isn't the one she portrays. Her last What's bug shot said Castile. This one says Kratz. Oh, I know. Who's she hiding from? It says she's been released. Kay ran to get her so she can start her TikTok begging. I bet she will share the room with him tonight and the, be begging for funds for the rest of the, her life. She's scared to death to work a job and be a real parent here's the thing with his income she doesn't even have to have a job she could sit there and sell bows none of us have an issue with that no but to make up lies and stories so that people send you money is wrong and send give
this through from Amazon? Why? I mean, her rent was cheap enough. She didn't have to. Her lies are no different than somebody else getting on here making up lies about medical conditions to raise money. It's well, all a money pool. Oh, I know. And I don't care what whatever that person says. I did I was not on drugs. I did not abuse my daughter. I was in the military. The they army. Get Amber fired up. Who? My Amber? Yeah. Stepdaughter? Yeah. She'll come back on here in a minute, but she's got to be at work in the morning. So, I mean, I did not lose my daughter because of something I did other than go to the army. Okay? Y'all can believe whatever y'all want to by what she says. I know what happened to my daughter. I know I don't have to explain myself. But the lies that she has put through, it, it starts to wear on people's nerves. Because they're the ones getting lied on all the time. So, yeah. The bottom line is she put her home being over her head and her children's life in jeopardy so that she can be famous on TikTok and collect that money. Yes, she was more I... worried about live streaming those pots and those children being taken than she was about loving on her kids and crying that her kids were being taken. That speaks volume. I actually must have forgot that my daughter lived with us in the single wide. We bought my daughter a motorcycle while she was going to college. She was riding her motorcycle back and forth to college to northeast all the way down in Boonville. And the only thing she had to pay for was the insurance. Because it was her bike. I think it's safe to say if you're close to Ashley in any way, whether you're a moderator, a family member, you're going to be a scapegoat for yeah. all the hate. If you're a hater, too, they're also scapegoats. The haters are following her. They're following her with pew pews. They're going to hurt her family. All the lies are so that y'all will gift her and send her money. Exactly. Money. Money. Say it with I me. Mean, if, money. I mean, if y'all would see the way the furniture was, there was holes in the couch. Holes in the love seat. But yet, that was her furniture that she wants back so bad but yet the landlord's refusing to give it to her? No, no. The landlord don't want it. There's there's nothing good about it. I'm going to say this, and I'm not going to say it again. I am struggling. I'm making it financially. But my She's husband... She's on TikTok again? No. Oh, is that the one that was rubbing himself? I want to say yeah. this. And pulling up his shirt and exposing Hold on. I'll say it when you're done. Hey. Y'all remember the one that um, that was pulling his shirt up and rubbing himself? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. So I want to say this. My husband's working two jobs because of my brain tumor. And we make it, but we struggle. You know how hard it is? He just walked in from work. Been working since 7 o'clock this morning. What is it? 10.57? And he fell asleep in two minutes. You see me on here begging for money from people to help me get teeth? Yeah. Ashley got three grand for teeth. I, I need can't teeth. Post the, Where the can I get help with teeth? Blocked, partially. Repost Where can I get help with there. bills? Who did? What? Oh, Lord have mercy. He's showing... I did, I did not watch the one where he was pulling his shirt up and rubbed himself. No. That's just... That's uncalled for. 
If I raised enough money for a pair of teeth, do you know how much I would cry? I would just <laughs> cry because that would help me so much. Do you know what it's like to sit in the bed for four years and not want to look in a mirror because your teeth are so bad from radiation and dealing with a brain tumor? Do you see me on here begging? I couldn't even begin to lie like her. But a pair of teeth? I All right, Mama, too, I can see you. Maybe I need to get on here and ask for help with my medical paperwork. Is that just now? He ain't been, no, but he's passing out on her. Oh, he nodded out on her. Okay. He just showed me a, he just showed me a picture of where, um, he hugged her, then all of a sudden just nodded out. He's always nodding out. That's rogues. Yeah, we know. He nods out while holding trust in. I don't want to know what else he nods out on. And when he takes a nap, he holds on to Trustin. Trustin has no choice but to take a nap. The way he holds them. I mean, that, is that not kind of creepy to you? It is very creepy. Uh, one person said they'll donate for you, Llama. I just need people to follow me, and then maybe I'll get enough nerve to see I've if I can get a dentist to, the house. to yeah. donate me a pair. But... I'm just not a. I'm just not the type of person to ask for help. I just want to smile. You know how long I, it's been since I smiled because I have to cover my top teeth. Do this, and mine's not from rugs. It's from radiation. Yeah, I know. From thyroid cancer. And now I have a small brain tumor. I would love help. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because it's going to make me cry how hard my husband's busting his butt to save us. Um, get in contact. I'm, Lama, I'm going to tell you something. Find you an Aspen Dental. Okay. They will, if, if everything is good, they will set you up on a payment plan. I get My that, payment. but that's, that's another bill. I mean, you get what I'm saying? A $100 a month. That's what mine was. That's not bad. And mine was, I pulled all 18 teeth and the dentures for right at 3000 I just don't then, understand people like her that get on here and lie for money and when there's people and children out there struggling and dying from cancer oh, I know. donate to children's st jude's donate to these children that are getting abused not to two grown adults that that are pulling money from y'all when they make kevin makes more money than my husband does in his first job i'm not, not okay i'm done i'm gonna let y'all change the subject because i'm getting furious I don't want to oh. get like that. Hey, I got, I got kind of irate last night. So yeah. I do what I can. I sew dog bandanas and I sell them at a local shop when I can get them there because I can't drive often. And I do what I can do. I sell them for seven dollars. They they how far nice away are dog bandanas? How far away are they? They're not far, but if I can get to a thousand followers, I can start selling my dog bandanas on TikTok shop. I mean, they're they're amazing. The collars go through them; they don't move. They're beautiful. But I was thinking, Ashley, say one of Ashley one of, got my following of seventeen thousand people. She got it knocked down because I went live with Robbie, and she reported me for something that didn't even happen. I don't even know because as soon as I logged in, it said permanently banned. And wow! It was an hour after I went live with Robbie, I had seventeen thousand followers. I was just to the point where people were sending me products to review, to get paid through TikTok, and I got banned. So I'm starting all over, so that I can sell what I can do at my kitchen table to try to help my family. Because I was basically saying, could they not come and pick them up? If they're not that they, far away, they probably could, but I don't ask people for help. I just, I don't. I, just I mean, it was it to myself. Thank you for the follows, guys. 
yeah. That, Everybody that helps me tremendously. Well, I'm already following you, so. I can't follow you but once. I'm not going to beg for money, but I'm going to get on there and I'm going to sell my product and I'm going to show my product and I'm, and that's it. If Ashley would do that, it wouldn't be a problem. I love her bows. I'm not going to lie. I think she, I think she's very talented. But I think she needs help. She makes doggy bandanas. I do. I make dog bandanas. And I also take shells from my local beach and I clean them up and I paint them for Christmas ornaments and they're absolutely beautiful. People around here buy them up as quick as I can make them. Who is the uncle that got arrested? Huh? What uncle? Um, she's only got two uncles unless it's on her other side. Now they're saying make a cat bandanas too. I do. I do. I do it, and you you wouldn't believe the the selection of fabric that I have. I mean, I have all the football teams, the basketball teams, Halloween stuff, Christmas Bo stuff. I mean, Bonnie, I don't know who Buddy and Carrie is. If y'all want to follow me on Facebook, it's under Cindy Evans, and I'm from Somerville, South Carolina. I don't know what uncle she, you're talking about got arrested. I know my husband has not been arrested. Do you have any hockey league? NHL? I can do any. I can order any kind of fabric. I see Cindy was someone she told social workers to call to take the kids. No, I think they I don't think so. Well, I, I, I don't know if they're talking about you or me. <laughs> I'm reading the comments. Yeah, we just happen to have the same name. Something to a goat? Do what? Uh, I love you guys. And when I get to a thousand followers, my TikToks, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to talk about Ashley over there. I mean, I do here, but if I go live, y'all have to understand that my looks have changed because of this brain tumor. I'm not the most attractive 50 year old that you're going to see. Um, and, uh, I don't I mean, have a thyroid from cancer, so my face is swollen. Y'all are going to have to understand my teeth are messed up. I mean, it's hard to show my face. It really is. So I, I stay locked up in the house. Larry, I have no idea what you're talking about. What uncle did something to a goat and then got arrested? What are you talking about? That's getting a little bit out there, isn't it? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> That's weird. That'd be Lord. I done. I done thirty-two. Com yeah, I gotta just scroll upwards. Um, that I'm gonna have to ask my husband on because I know. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask my husband on that because I don't know anything about anything like that. I understand what y'all are saying about looks, but it, it's it's hard to look in the mirror and your teeth be messed up from radiation and your looks but it change. Wasn't, it it's wasn't, hard. Yeah, but it's not. It is. But the thing is, is, it wasn't your fault. I understand that, but it's still you're still self conscious about my it. Husband, Trust my husband. My husband will want to go somewhere, and I will literally cry and tell him that people shouldn't have to, to look at me. 
like that's how I feel. I just it's you're hard. still beautiful. You're still beautiful on the inside. That's the only thing that matters. You know, I I'm not the prettiest thing in the world, and I sure in the hell ain't Miss America. But the way I see it, if nobody don't like the way I look, forget it. I'm not here yeah. to please nobody I'm, I'm but myself. I'm working on it. Beauty is only skin deep. Ugly goes clear to the bone. You damn right. <laughs> hey, Mom. And I'm not saying that I haven't done wrong in my past. I don't. I mean, I don't. Did, I don't have an have, arrest record or anything. But I'm not. Does she have an person. uncle that had a fling with a goat and got arrested? No, that was her husband. Who? Mm -hmm. That's why he divorced her. Who? They're saying an uncle. I'm saying it's her husband. The goat's with Kevin now. What? Mm. Oh my God. No. I have. I he have does over not know. <laughs> no. I don't know who that is either. He does not. He does not know of any uncle that had an affair. Uh, with a goat, you know, a blah blah. Um, Woo. I was about to dance. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, that was uh, that's my ringtone, sugar boom boom. <laughs> well, you might have to call her so. Well, ladies, all I can say is we're just going to have to find out what goes on. So, yeah. Well, the thing is. Oh, I do too. I, I got that thing blaring on my motorcycle every time I walk. Why no, are they you bringing up Robbie? No. He's not even in here. We're not talking about him. Um, Amber, call your dad. Amber, call your daddy. She said she needs you to answer. Oh. Okay. Y'all, I will get off of here for now. Okay. Amber apparently wants to talk to me about something. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.